Indo Pacific. House Republican leaders have unveiled a series of bills totaling about $95 billion for Israel, Ukraine, and Taiwan. Votes are expected Saturday evening. In a statement, President Biden urges the House to pass the package this week and the Senate to follow up quickly to send the message that the United States stands with our friends and won't let Iran or Russia succeed. Fox's Jared Halpern in Washington. Back-to-back -back hearings on Boeing safety with lawmakers hearing company whistleblower Sam Salpour's concerns about the manufacturing process. I have analyzed Boeing's own data to conclude that the company is taking manufacturing shortcuts on the 787 program that may significantly reduce the airplane safety. This as investigations continue over recent incidents involving other models of Boeing jets. The company is denying claims about a toxic environment of retaliation against employees. America is listening to Fox News. 93 WIPC Mobile News on the level, on the go. The threat is to the east. Skies mostly clear, 73 degrees downtown. Radar, all good for now, though a 51 tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox. Here's what's trending at 302. Some rain expected to, uh, today along with some strong winds. We'll have gusty winds all day, uh, not associated with thunderstorms, so the environmental winds will be pretty strong themselves. And we can expect wind gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour, at least through sunset today. So it's going to be windy all day today. Matt Eckhoff with the National Weather Service. Counties east of Indianapolis are at a larger risk for for severe weather, a tornado watch is in effect for most of eastern Indiana until 7 tonight. The Indiana Graduate Workers Coalition is on strike because they would like to be recognized as a union and get better pay if they don't have their demands met by this Friday. We have some, uh, we have some uh, plans in the work. Uh, we are hoping to announce those later this week. Uh, if the administration doesn't respond. David Garner with the coalition. He says they've never been able to have a discussion with IU President Pamela Witten despite trying to reach her office several times. The pilot who was killed in a Tippecanoe County small plane crash last week has been identified. West Woodward reports. Deputies discovered the wrecked plane owned by Purdue Aviation in a field off U.S. 231 Northwest Lafayette. It was reported missing April 12th but believed to have crashed the night before. The pilot killed, identified as 20-year-old Purdue student Alexander Foss of Minnesota, the coroner confirmed on Wednesday. According to the coroner's report, the preliminary cause of death was multiple blunt force injuries. Toxicology results are pending and can take up to six to eight weeks to process. West Woodward, 93, WIBC Mobile News. Caitlin Clark in the Circle City. She introduced herself for the first time today to fans. I grew up playing basketball with the boys. I never thought that was, like, different or weird. It was just what I did. I went out there. I competed hard. Um, I feel like that's a lot of the reason I am who I am today. She says Fever teammates have already reached out, welcoming her to the locker room. The season starts in less than a month. You're one minute away from traffic and weather. It's 304. On a map, the southern border is a 1,000 miles away, but that's not how it feels to my family. I grew up in a blue-collar home in Richmond. My dad was a factory worker. He was laid off twice. Not because the factory was doing poorly, but because it was cheaper to move those jobs across the border. I'm Jameson Carrier. Today, it's not what's leaving across the border that's devastating our families. It's what's coming in. And once again, it's personal. My wife and I lost our son Joey to fentanyl, a tragedy that's become far too common. To President Biden, secure the border is just a talking point. But to our family, it's life and death. I'm Jamison Carrier. I'm a business owner, a native Hoosier, and a Trump Republican. And we can't wait another day to secure our border and put Americans first. I'm Jamison Carrier, and I approve this message. Jamison Carrier for Congress. Paid for by Carrier for Congress, Inc. With traffic in the fives at 3.05, here's Matt Bear. All right, Harrison. Yeah, it sounds like we have a stall southbound 69 before 82nd Street. The right lane is blocked and traffic is loaded back past 96. Reminder, Fall Creek Parkway closed at Evanston. Evening rush gets really bad around that area. And Fall Creek will remain closed until April 30th, weather permitting. Traffic sponsored by Mr. Quick Home Services. Springs here, so it's the perfect time to get your HVAC in top shape with Mr. Quick's $49 preseason tune-up. Get ahead of the heat and enjoy comfort all summer. Visit MrQuickHomeServices.com and get your tune-up today. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. 
And the forecast from the American Standard Cooling Weather Center. Looks like as we move towards Wednesday evening, skies will start clearing out, winds will start dying down, and temperatures will drop, but only to about 50 degrees overnight. As you move into Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high temperature around 80. I'm Winch TV Storm Track 8 meteorologist Drew Arsutis for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. Hammer and Nigel. Can you believe these characters are weird? Nigel, Jason Hammer right over there. I am PD Chief Chris Bailey along with Mayor Hogsett announcing that the uh, Department of Justice as well as something called the National Policing Institute are going to conduct an independent review of all the officer-involved shootings uh, within IMPD in 2023. Um, the numbers that are involved here, 18 shootings. Uh, 14 of those took place in the last five months of the year. Now, this is being done at the request of the city of Indianapolis. Now, the brass at the IMPD, they're playing ball. They're open to this. They're being transparent. But make no mistake, this is being done at the request of the city of Indianapolis. Well, Mayor Hogg said, it said it's both the city and IMPD have requested it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure the IMPD was really rushing to have the Department of Justice yeah. go through and look at kidding. every single thing they do and have a bunch of people that don't know anything about policing micromanage them. They're looking to identify potential patterns and factors that led to the rise of officer-involved shootings. Oh, I don't know. I could give you maybe one. More bad guys with no regard for human life shooting at police officers? Could that be a, a potential pattern and a potential factor? Damn it, Nigel, you just saved us a lot of time and money. <laughs> well done, sir. Put I your mean, name on that report. Have it on their desk <laughs> by the morning. I'm just saying. I uh, Okay, and whatever. Why don't they do an investigation of all the shootings that take place in Indianapolis in 2023? We've already seen the prosecutor come out and act like he was upset at even the shootings that were done in self-defense. The justified shootings and the justified homicides just this year. We played the audio of Ryan Mears. His feelings were hurt because citizens were defending themselves against bad guys coming into their home or women were shooting bad guys that were beating them, threatening their lives. And Channel 13 and the prosecutor Ryan Mears did this story about how we're supposed to feel bad that bad guys are being dealt with. In terms of, you know, fire coming back at him. That's what's going on here in Indianapolis. And I'm just wondering, will this report from the Department of Justice be as thorough as the one about the riots? Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Remember when that came out? Mm. Some East Coast group broke down what happened in Indianapolis during the riots. It was IMPD's fault, right? They blamed IMPD for wearing riot gear <laughs> to a riot. It's not funny, but that's all I can do is laugh. I mean, that I, was I'm part sorry. of the report. That was part of this, I, absolutely. IMPD raised tensions because they wore riot gear to a riot. That was in the report. And by the way, that report done by the East Coast eggheads, they didn't talk to any business owners here in Indy. Over 100 businesses were damaged in some way, some completely. Two people died, there were fires, there was destruction, and over 100 businesses had damage in some way, and business owners weren't a part of that report. Uh, not only that, but then further down the line, a few weeks later, they boarded up their windows and thought there was going to be another riot, and the mayor and other people, left-wing opinion writers, said, it sends the wrong message to the rioters. <laughs> right? <laughs> It's if you don't laugh, you'll wrong. cry because all of this happened. All of this is true. So I'm just wondering, is this Department of Justice review of IMPD officer-related shootings going to be like the report that came in about the riots? Now, let's go back to March of 2021. For those who don't remember, we had the FOP president, Rick Snyder, on this program. I believe it was the first week of March 2021 the day that this report came out criticizing IMPD, blaming them for the riots. The facts don't support the report. 
Listen, everybody in Indianapolis knows what this was all about. This is simply politicians covering their backsides for their failures. It was on full display uh, during the events in May of last year, and it wasn't our police that failed our city. It was our politicians, and everybody knows it. It's the political leadership that advocated their responsibilities. They uh, required our police officers to take a compromised posture that then allowed the, the events to really devolve into the situations that we had where we had over 100 businesses damaged or destroyed, four people shot, two of which lost their lives. We have a report that was generated uh, by the very person in which a lot of questions were being asked to, and rightfully so, it's the executive of our entire city. You also saw that we were told to give them plenty of space and back off and then actually told to leave the circle. And then we were resigned to the fact of having to follow uh, the groups around that kept evolving and becoming further emboldened, damaging property. This was after after they had assaulted police officers, thrown the frozen bottles on them and all those things. Guys, within 15 minutes, it's in the transcripts, within 15 minutes of the quote-unquote peaceful protest beginning, it was documented that there were already visible uh, sticks, shields, uh, the bottles, and, and other concerns within the crowd. Any actions that officers were taking were simply uh, focused on the people who were attempting to assault the officers. And the reason we play you that soundbite is we want you to understand what happens when outside groups start doing reports on what happens in your city. More often than not, it's total crap. So just keep that in mind. Now, IJ, 35-year-old man, was arrested after he flew into fits of rage at a Dunkin' Donuts in New York City. This is Dunkin'. Nope. To me, it's Dunkin' Donuts. You know how I am on these things. It's still Deer Creek, it's still the Hoosier Dome, <laughs> and it's still Dunkin' Donuts. The Hoosier Dome doesn't even exist anymore. This guy was mad because he wanted six pumpkin donuts, but they only had five to sell them, so he freaked out, started threatening the guy, and now he's facing seven years in prison. Oh, yeah, I'm sure Fat Alvin Bragg will make him do all seven years. I'm sure he's going to, he'll be out on the, I'm sure he's out walking around right now. They're real Although, tough on uh, bad guys yeah. in New York, aren't they? Yeah, it's kind of like in Indianapolis. So this brings us to great moments in Dunkin' Donut history. <laughs> is there such a thing? This is the viral video of the Dunkin' Donuts customer who thought that a dozen was 50. I want 50. I need more. 50 five, 0 That's what a dozen is. Not 12. You're not understanding the English. 12 is a dozen. I want more than 12. You don't need to be rude. <laughs> That's incredible. I don't know that I've heard that one. Great moments in Dunkin' Donut history. This is the employee at duncan that went viral for giving a dollar to a woman in honor of milf monday thank you what was the dollar for oh for the holiday today oh what's yeah that uh, you follow did you check your app no you should have got the um the, the milf monday oh yeah so you get the dollar we're just like here at duncan we're trying to give back to like our local milfs on mondays now very funny cute though no i'm serious <laughs> okay have a good one you too mommy thanks <laughs> yeah that's creepy that's a little sketchy. She didn't seem too bothered no, by she it, didn't. though. She didn't. You get the wrong woman. You get the wrong Karen in, though, and I probably wouldn't blame her. <laughs> and lastly, great moments in Dunkin' Donut history, WWE superstar The Rock. Well, The Rock has one question for you. Do you like donuts? What's your favorite donut? Jelly. Oh, you like jelly? Well, jelly's a good one. The Rock says this, when you leave here, go down to Dunkin' Donuts, get the biggest <laughs> jelly donut you can find. Oh, no. Hold that jelly donut up, squeeze all the jelly out, squeeze <laughs> all the jelly out, and then turn that some <laughs> sideways and stick it straight up your candy ass. Great, Great moments in, in Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts, donuts history. history. Uh, what's the update <laughs> to a story that we had today? You sent me something earlier today. Oh, is this the blue milk thing? I believe Did so. Did we talk about this a couple of weeks ago? Star Wars brand blue milk is hitting stores today 
You remember that scene in Star Wars where Luke is having breakfast with uh, Aunt Beru and Uncle Owen, and he's drinking blue milk? Yes. They're, they're actually releasing blue milk in the stores today. Here's a, uh, you know, Star Wars came out in 1977, right? Classic scene. Right. And I always thought Aunt Beru was very sweet. Uncle Owen, bit of a prick. Um, but here's <laughs> a little quick tribute. And I'm definitely, if I see this in the store, I'm buying blue milk. Star Wars blue milk for sure. Here's our uh, quick tribute, if you will. Blue milk. You can drink blue milk. <laughs> you can drink blue milk. It's almost here. It is. That's it. There's your tribute. That's all we get. <laughs> That's all we have. That's all we got. All right. Good job. Well done. That's five seconds of awesomeness. Uh, Matt Bear, what's going on? Looking to westbound 70 Hancock County. Good afternoon. It is a semi-crash heading towards Indianapolis at County Road 200 West. That's over three miles after State Road 9. If you're heading westbound right now, traffic is jammed up all the way back to State Road 9. That is the right lane block. The stall cleared coming down from Fisher. Southbound 69 still stop and go from 106th Street down to 82nd. And a reminder, Fall Creek Parkway closed at Evanston until April 30th for construction. And this whole area gets really busy around rush hour, so keep that in mind. Traffic sponsored by Mr. Quick Home Services. Springs here, so it's the perfect time to get your HVAC in top shape with Mr. Quick's $49 preseason tune-up. Get ahead of the heat and enjoy comfort all summer. Visit MrQuickHomeServices.com and get your tune-up today. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. 74 at the American Standard Cooling Weather Center. All right, get to the YouTube Feed, right we stream this show live on youtube in addition to being on the radio and the apps it's the wibc youtube channel two in studio cameras you can jump in the chat because coming up next we're gonna play cameo price is right oh, a no. shot is on the line oh. cameo price is right get ready to play next kate here from bad star us with the three biggest Problems people always have with bathroom remodelers and how Baths R Us overcomes them all. First, it takes too long. Everyone's heard the horror stories of jobs that drag on for weeks or months. But at Baths R Us, we're in and out in two or three days and it looks stunning. Problem number two, the final bill is more than the original estimate. Baths R Us doesn't give estimates. We give ironclad quotes. We remodel over 1,500 bathrooms a year. You can be confident there will be no last minute surprises. And problem number three, they don't do the job right. Baths R Us only hires master craftsmen who are trained and certified and who use the highest quality materials. That's why we're proud to offer our no regrets promise, your personal guarantee that you'll love your new bathroom. Call right now and get $1,500 off plus low to no monthly payments. Our number is 317-886-1761 or online at bathsrus.com. That's bathsrus.com. A broken border, corrupt politicians, and the rise of communist China. We don't need leaders who will surrender. We need America First conservative Mike Speedy. Mike Speedy endorses President Trump and will join him to fix our border once and for all. Mike Speedy will fight the woke leftists to guarantee life and liberty. Speedy has a track record of fighting and winning. Mike Speedy is the only candidate in the GOP primary with both an A-plus rating from the NRA and the endorsement of Indiana Right to Life. Speedy is the conservative who beat the abortion lobby, voting to make Indiana pro-life in the post-Roe v. Wade era. Mike Speedy also voted to ban sanctuary cities and voted to guarantee our right to constitutional carry. Mike Speedy, America first conservative for Congress. Vote Republican Mike Speedy in Indiana's 6th Congressional on or before May 7th. I'm Mike Speedy. I'm running for Congress, and I approve this message. Paid for by Mike Speedy for Congress. Hammer and Nigel here. If you're looking for someplace new to go for lunch, try Jay's Lobster and Fish Market in the Garage Food Hall. Bottleworks District, downtown Indy. They're specialized in the lobster rolls, but you've got to try their brand new honey fried lobster roll. It's so good. And while you're at the Garage Food Hall, check out Palavana Cubano, the newest and best Cuban sandwich restaurant in Indy. I have had that Cuban Reuben. It's unbelievable. Palavana Cubano inside the Garage Food Hall at the Bottleworks.
Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 800-919-3200. Liberals have quit on America. We have a secure border. They'll deny it while they throw away the America we built together. I'm telling the American people that we're going to get control of inflation. It's no accident they let Indianapolis burn. Or why our border overflows. Jefferson Shreve, he fights back. He's conservative, pro-police, strong border. So he gets hit like this. Jefferson Shreve, Trump-style politics trashing our city. And what's more, Shreve takes no lobbyist money, owes no one, and can't be bought. So to them, Shreve is the enemy. Defend our country from the left, the elites, the ones who've been bought and sold. Defend it with a fighter who can't be bought. For law, order, and a secure border, he's Jefferson Shreve for Congress. I'm Jefferson Shreve, and I approve this message. Paid for by Shreve for Congress. Emmer and Nigel here inviting you to join us as we kick off the weekend every Friday around 545 with Beer Sample Friday. Brought to you by our friends at Thompson Furniture and Mattress in Columbus. This hour on 93 WIBC, powered by Dammons Lawn and Garden on West Rockville Road. You're listening to the Hammer and Nigel Show. All right, Hammer. What is, first explain what is Cameo, and then explain what is Cameo prices, right? And then explain how I always lose. Actually, you're on a two-game win streak, if you remember. But yeah. Cameo is a online service where you can pay a certain amount of money and you can choose from the celebrities that are available and they will record a personalized message for you or a friend, right? So you would pay X amount of money and then Ric Flair would record something for you or we, one of your buddies. We paid Tanya Harding. Was it last year or the year before a night at WIBC to send a message to our former producer, Mondo? Correct. Now, the thing you need to understand with Cameo is you're not getting Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> you're not getting, you know, George Clooney or right. Brad Pitt, yes. Tom Cruise. The A-listers are not there. But the people that are there, I think... We're using the word celebrity pretty loosely. And there's a wide variety in terms of price range. Correct. And the celebrities themselves set the price range. Now, the way this works, I'm going to read a name of one of the celebrities that's available on Cameo. Okay. You have to guess how much they charge for a personalized message closest without going over. Price is right rules. Gets a point. First one to three is the winner between Nigel and Allison. All right. Mm. Now, the winner gets to choose. Do you want to take this shot from Hotel Tango, their oh, red, white, yeah. and bourbon, which is a part of our big Tales from the Track event coming up, or do you want to pass it to your opponent? Okay. So if, Nigel, you win, you can either take the shot uh, you're going to take the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, if you win, you can either take the shot or give it to Nigel, okay? Here we go. Number one, cameo price is right. <sighs> Former NSYNC member Chris Kirkpatrick. Allison, we're going to start with you. Ooh. How much does Chris Kirkpatrick charge for a cameo message? 150. 150. 175. Nigel gets the point. Uh, 179. Wow. 79. I think because NSYNC's kind of on a comeback, right? A little bit. They're, they've been going out on tour. A little bit, yeah. So Nigel's up one to nothing. Boom. Nigel, this question's to you. Richard Klein, he played Larry, the wacky neighbor on Three's Company that would always go to the Regal <laughs> Beagle with Jack Tripper. Actor guess, Richard Klein. He's still alive? Fifty dollars, Allison. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. Uh, I'll say forty-nine. Nigel gets the point. One hundred dollars. Uh oh. One hundred. One hundred, Allison. 
All right, Allison, you're going to need to get this next one, or Nigel's going to get the broom out and sweep your sorry ass out of here. Okay. Now, there's a sound <laughs> clip for this one. I love one. this game. There's a sound clip here. Okay. The actor is Jonathan Schmock. Jonathan Schmock. He played the role of the maitre d' in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> Abe Froman, the yeah. Chicago uh, Sausage King. It's snooty with me. Snooty. Right. If you wonder what a cameo message sounds like from Jonathan Schmock, here it is. You're Abe Froman, the Sausage King of Chicago. Now, I think you're Kendall, and it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> well, happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Hi, Kendall. It's me, Jonathan Schmock. I played the Mater D in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. <laughs> Snooty, snotty, snotty. How much does Jonathan Schmuck <laughs> charge for cameo, Allison? Uh, I'll go with 50. Uh, I'll go with 49. Yeah, that was too high. Allison got it right. Oh! 60 bucks. Wow. Oh! Inflation's affecting everybody. 60 bucks, and you can get a personalized <laughs> message from Jonathan Schmuck. All right, <laughs> Nigel, we go back to you. I can still win it right here, right? Yeah. Lorenzo Lamas, 80s star of the TV show Renegade, yeah. did some male modeling. How much does Lorenzo Lamas charge for cameo? 100 bucks. Allison? I don't know who this is. Uh, I'm going to go with 90. You're both over oh, $70. <laughs> so, Allison, we go back to you. Okay. Country singer Neil McCoy, Ooh. famous for The Wink. And the shake, how much does Neil McCoy charge for cameo? Fifty. Nigel. Seventy-five. One hundred dollars. Nigel's hey! the winner. Woo! All right. you gotta okay. do is just give a, me that wank. I am on a streak. So three, three in a row now. Heater. Yeah. So I always used to lose to Mondo. That's the thing. So, um, so do I want the shot or do I want to pass it to Allison? We oh. know the answer. It's okay. <laughs> we don't need to play this back and forth. Just, uh, just slide that thing right over my way, Hammer. <laughs> just, just go ahead. I'm not giving this to Allison. I'm the red, I'm white, it. and blue. Thanks to Hotel Tango for uh, who's also sponsoring and providing the spirits for Tales from the Track. There were a couple that I left on the table just to run out the clock here. <sighs> yeah. Former Notre Dame coach Lou Holtz. How much do you think he charges? $150. Uh, $100. $75. Well, that's $75. All. Wow. And comedian actor John Lovitz. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. You know, uh, hangs out with Sandler and all I'm those say guys. At least $150. I'm going to say $200. $175. Oh, Meet okay. in the middle. And that is how we play Cameo Price is Right Very nice. here on the Hammer and Nigel Show. Hi, Pat Sullivan here from Sullivan Hardware and Garden and Allisonville Home and Garden by Sullivan. Our stores are blooming with flowers, hanging baskets, bedding plants, perennials, annual containers, shrubs, trees, and much more. With so many colors and varieties, it's the best-looking selection you'll find anywhere. Come see the difference. Why, you ask, our plants are from top-quality Midwest growers, many right here in Indianapolis. Check the specials on our patio furniture, like all-weather wicker, Berlin Gardens poly, cast aluminum, teak, and more. You can even choose your own custom cushions on most sets. We specialize in excellent quality mid-price patio furniture that's in stock at our 37,000 square foot warehouse. All priced at 30% off. See our large selection of grills, Weber, Traeger, and the Big Green Egg. Shop, play, experience. Spring with Sullivan's. 71st and Keystone, 49th and Penn, Cicero, and Allisonville Home and Garden by Sullivan in Fishers. Terry Stacy here. Honey Baked Ham isn't just for the holidays. Stop in for lunch and choose from handcrafted sandwiches, salads, soups, and more. Or take home a heat and serve family meal that comes with a homestyle main dish, sides, and rolls. Perfect for a busy weekend night and better than fast food. Have a special event this spring? Let Honey Baked cater with sandwich trays or a VIP buffet with all the extras. Honey Baked on West 96th Street in Indy or Greyhound Pass in Carmel makes it easy to serve something special any day of the year.
Welcome to Tire Discounters. Oh, hiya, Phantom. Mike, you may be in big trouble with Chip Wood. Our owner? Free oil changes along with alignment? On any four-tire purchase. Michelin's up to 200 off? Yeah. Sorry, Mike, but I'm telling. But the Wood family is behind all this. Oh, those rascals. But don't tell the accountants. Of course not. And what do they do again? Buy any set of four tires at Tire Discounters and get a free alignment and oil change. Make the Michelin's and save up to 200 more. Discounters. See store for details. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, Offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, For the ones who get it done. 93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. They want better wages. 73 degrees, mostly sunny on the circle. No rain and your radar. Low of 51 tonight. And Harrison Silcox, here's what's trending at 331. The Indiana Graduate Workers Coalition on strike today and through the rest of the week at IU. From day one, we've been voting for, or we've been fighting for our living wage and union recognition. David Garner with the coalition says being recognized as a union gives them a seat at the bargaining table with the university and also gives them more protections that allow them to have more opportunities for raises. The Senate holding an impeachment trial today. The Senate will proceed to consideration of the articles of impeachment against Alejandro in Mayorkas, Secretary of Homeland Security. House Republicans delivered articles of impeachment to the chamber earlier this week over how Mayorkas has handled problems at the southern border. Former President Donald Trump says he's not happy about the jury selection process and his hush money trial in New York. He said on social media he's not pleased with how quickly the jury's being selected. He claims that judges rushing the trial to help out Democrats. President Biden met with union steel workers at USW headquarters in Pittsburgh today. U.S. Steel has been an iconic American company for more than a century, and it should remain a totally American company. Yeah! American-owned, American-operated by American Union steel workers, the best in the world. Biden announced a plan to put tariffs on Chinese steel imports. Severe weather possible tonight, especially east of Indianapolis. I think the best chance of severe weather is more towards Ohio because things are going to take a, a little bit of time to kind of ramp up. Uh, the stuff that develops west of Indianapolis might not be too bad. Matt Eckhoff with the National Weather Service's tornado watch is in effect until 7 tonight for most of eastern Indiana. And the Indiana Fever's first overall pick arrived in Indianapolis for the first time today. I don't know. I think the biggest thing like I try to remember is like how grateful I am to have this opportunity and you know there's so many people that would kill to be in my shoes. Caitlin Clark. She says she's trying to keep everything in perspective. The Fever season starts May 3rd. You're one minute away from traffic and weather. It's 3.33. Um, Congresswoman Sparks will be ready for your interview soon. It seems pretty intense in there. Yeah, kind of crazy. Maybe I'll take some time before the interview to Google Victoria Sparks and learn a little more about her. Uh, whoa, have you seen this article? One aide calling the lawmaker's workplace behavior manic? Victoria Sparts was number one on Legistorm's list of worst bosses based on high turnover rates. Says she, quote, avoided firing aides and instead bullied them until they left. And the story is based on interviews with half a dozen former staffers. Yikes. Sparts called staff morons and idiots. I get this. Victoria Sparts says her working style is, quote, not for everyone. Well, it's not for me. I think I'll pass on this interview. I'm Chuck Goodrich. I'm running for Congress, and I approve this message. Paid for by Go With Chuck Goodrich Committee. With traffic at 334, what's going on, Matt Bear? Yeah, said I'm in Hancock County right now. We're looking at westbound 70 near 200 west, and it is a semi-crash. It's been moved out of the right lane and on the right shoulder, so at least a queue, at least a traffic delay is moving here. We're still stop and go for three miles back to State Road 9. Inbound 69, stop and go traffic, 106th Street, 282nd. Eastbound 465, stop and go Keystone Avenue over to Allisonville Road. Fall Creek Road is closed to Evanston Avenue, and that's going 
going on until April 30th if the weather cooperates. In the meantime, that area is getting busy as it does during evening rush with that closure. Traffic sponsored by B Window for a limited time with B Window. Get 50% off all products in 20 months, no interest or payments, plus qualifying completed projects earn a $500 gift card. That's Sullivan Hardware and Garden. Details at bwindow.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Cooling Weather Center. Looks like as we move towards Wednesday evening, skies will start clearing out, winds will start dying down, and temperatures will drop, but only to about 50 degrees overnight. As you move into Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high temperature around 80. I'm Winch TV Storm Track 8 Meteorologist Drew Sudis for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. Crime. Punishment. Judges. Legal stuff. Yeah. My name is Nigel. That's Hammer. The six jurors have been found for Donald Trump's "quote unquote" hush money trial in New York City. I have a problem, and I'm guilty of it too. With the with the term "hush money," it sounds like he just by virtue of the words "hush money" sounds like he did something illegal. No, it was a non disclosure agreement. It wasn't hush money. It wasn't under the table. This was a legal contract that he had Stormy Daniels sign willingly for a few hundred thousand dollars to keep her mouth shut about the alleged affair. But D.A. there, the, the district attorney, Fat Alvin Bragg, says that was a, you know, since that helped your campaign, you should have been disclosed and fraud and blah, 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 blah. I don't want to get into the weeds there, but the six jurors have been found for this trial. Which is six of more, the jurors. They still got more to find. Yeah, well, so just so it, this trial, which is nothing more than to to keep Trump off the campaign trail because nobody, everybody rejected this case before. This case has been looked at before in terms of like the guy that came before Bragg didn't want it. Merrick Garland's Justice Department didn't want to look at it, but now, but it's Trump and it's derangement syndrome and it's that that Trump derangement syndrome is strong. And you've got people who ran their campaigns on, I'm going to go after Trump. Yeah, the Attorney General, Letitia James from New York. You had a couple people doing that in New York. So now... They have to actually do it. So the jury process is underway. They claim they found six jurors so far that can be completely impartial. Sure. They're not going to have any preconceived notions yeah. of guilt about Donald Trump. Take a listen to this. One of the prospective jurors, which was later dismissed because of a scheduling conflict, not because of anything else, but just because of a scheduling conflict, this prospective juror told the court that, sure, she could remain unbiased and give a good, fair listening to all the facts and information. But she also admits to a TV camera she's not a fan of the president. Can you share your opinion of, of the former president and, and why you felt <laughs> that you could be unbiased? Uh, I'm not a fan. No. Um, I... During uh, COVID-19, I lived with someone who was immunocompromised, and I think his handling of COVID-19 was uh, abysmal. Um, I also I have a sister who was adopted from China, and um, the comments he made about China when he was running for president um, made her very anxious, and therefore made me angry. Um, there policies he has supported um, that regard uh, women and, and reproductive health that I do not agree with. I think all of that needs to be addressed. I oh, think boy. all of that needs to be addressed. Yeah. I'm not a fan. And mind you, she wasn't kicked out of the jury because they found her to be unbiased. She had a scheduling conflict. She couldn't do it. Or she would be on that jury. You damn well bet there is more than one person so far on that jury selection that feels the exact same way that it's agenda-driven as she is. And let's not forget the the, the Trump-hating judge who's donated to uh, Joe Biden's campaign and also two other liberal-leaning groups. And his daughter, the judge, the judge's daughter works for a Democrat group. Right. So. Say what you want about Donald Trump. And you may hate the guy, and that's fine. You may think he's a gaffe machine, a sexist, whatever you want to say. But if you're looking in the mirror and you're trying to be honest with yourself, ask yourself this question. Can he get a fair trial in New York? (laughs) Put your hatred to the side. Because if the answer is anything other than no, you're lying to yourself. 
Here is Vivek Ramaswamy. He was on Fox last night talking about how there's no way that Donald Trump can get a fair trial in Manhattan. I think it's really tough to imagine that he's going to get a fair trial in Manhattan. And if this were being held in a deep red conservative part of the country, you'd have liberals crying foul the same way. But I do think that it's just one more way in which this entire trial is a spectacle. It is designed to keep Donald J. Trump out of office. That's part of the plan they've laid. But I think the American people, Trace, are seeing through that far slowly. It's not 2016 anymore. The media has systematically lied. A lot of the weaponization of the justice system has been revealed. And so I predict that many Americans are going to say, you know what, whether you're on the left or the right, we don't want to be a country where prosecutors are trying to eliminate presidential candidates from contention, especially the lead candidate who's in the lead from the opposition party. That's not the United States of America. That's the stuff of banana republics, and we're moving past that. So I do predict it's going to backfire. But do I think he's going to get a fair trial? No, I don't think that's going to be easily possible for him in New York. And not only eliminate Trump from contention, but incarcerate him. There's that aspect of it, too. Now, I know this really has nothing to do with anything, but can I play you my favorite part of Vivek Ramaswamy on Fox <laughs> last night? So he was there as a guest. He's talking about a couple different things. Obviously, Trump being the most you know vital part of the conversation. But then somehow the topic of AI came up. And don't forget, Kamala Harris, she was put in charge of making sure AI doesn't get too crazy. This is Vivek Ramaswamy. Kamala Harris is literally the person in the United States of America who is in charge of AI policy. Right. And I'm quite certain the woman cannot spell AI. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I just found that hilarious. And I always liked Vivek on the campaign trail during the GOP debates. I, it was very likable to me. And I, it was definitely somebody I could have voted for, for sure. Didn't have a chance, really, against Donald Trump, but neither did any of those other bozos up there <laughs> right right i don't call, call him desantis a bozo it's just that's tongue-in-cheek but you know what i'm saying right right yeah. it was always a one-man race yes yes so the question now becomes if this process goes the way we think it's going to with a very anti-trump jury and anti-trump judge is his popularity going to rise because every single time that donald trump faces legal stuff his poll numbers go through the roof. Stephen A. Smith of ESPN. Now, he's not a conservative. He's not a Republican. But I, I will give likes, him credit, though. He doesn't like Trump. He doesn't like he doesn't. Trump. I'll give Stephen A. Smith credit. He'll go on Fox News, and he'll go into the lion's den. He'll fight and spar with Sean Hannity about certain things. He's not afraid. I'll give him credit for that. On his podcast, he had some thoughts on Donald Trump and what's going on with him legally. And honestly, this may surprise you. To my liberal friends out there, all you're doing is showing that you're scared you can't beat him on the issues and the merits. That's why he keeps saying it's a political campaign against me. That's why he keeps saying they can't beat me at the election, at the polls. This is the only way they could do it. And if you don't put him in jail, and he still goes from being the presumptive GOP nominee to the official GOP nominee. And he goes to the polls, even though he was going to whine about winning and being being rigged again. You have given more fodder to that argument, which means we'll never have peace in this country. Because tens of millions of people see what extent the other side is willing to go through just to keep him out of office because they can't beat him on their own merits. There's also a flip side to that coin. I agree with everything he said. But what are we talking about right now? We're talking about this hush money trial with a porn star. When we should be talking about what? The border? The economy? Crime? Uh, bad foreign policy? And the Democrats don't want to talk about that. They want to talk about this trial involving Stormy Daniels and some made-up campaign finance violation law. Would you like to hear from a lunatic? <laughs> I could only imagine. I, you're going to have to be more specific. Sorry. So Morning Joe, Joe Scarborough, the morning host on MSNBC. I don't know what's going on here, but over the last six to eight months, he's gone completely in the tank for Joe Biden. Like, I think he sleeps in Joe Biden pajamas. <laughs> 
And Joe's always been like that, but it's never been to this level. Like, he's a cartoon character now. Listen to Joe Scarborough, MSNBC's morning man, on his program yesterday. And on Fox News, I'll just say it, on Fox News, they didn't want to show Donald Trump in trial. So they got three protests and said protests shut down America, basically. This is a world they give their viewers anything to try to make America look bad. They are obsessed. When trashing America, when America is stronger, more powerful than ever before. Its economy stronger and more powerful than ever before. So what do they do? They find a trans athlete in Utah. So the world's, the world's coming to an end. Help us, <laughs> Jesus. He's losing his mind. The country, country ain't the country I was raised in. No, it's better. It's stronger. We're more powerful. Our military's more powerful. It's Fox News covering the protests that shut down the Golden Gate Bridge and the, the bridge over the Bronx and into Chicago, those pro-Hamas protesters. See, Fox ain't fallen for it. They're not following this, this sham trial, this show trial, this kangaroo court. What did I just say? They want us distracted by they. They meant, they meant Joe Scarborough. The Democrats want us distracted. They want us paying attention to Donald Trump and not the border and not the economy and not the foreign policy. And did I mention it? Not Certainly not the border. It's the Hammer and Nigel show. Hey, honey, take a look at this. I thought Chinese businesses buying up Indiana farmland was illegal. Well, politician Chuck Goodrich voted for a special deal to let Chinese communist companies buy farmland. Oh, I guess that's why they're calling him China Chuck. Yeah, he also gave a sweetheart deal to another Chinese company to control Indiana land. Oh, he really earned that name China Chuck. Worse, that Chinese company that Chuck Goodrich gave the deal to, President Trump banned it because it was a national security threat. Wow, I'm not voting for China Chuck Goodrich. He puts China first and Hoosiers last. Remind me, who's China Chuck Goodrich running against? It's Republican Victoria Sparts. Oh, I love Victoria Sparts. She's an America first conservative. She stands with President Trump to finish the wall and defend our borders. No, oh, Victoria's got my vote. I am Victoria Sparts, candidate for Congress, and I approve this message. Paid for by Victoria Sparts for Congress. Now is the perfect time for you to call the Bath Authority to get your project you've been putting off done this spring. Because the Bath Authority has an unbelievable deal going on. Call today at 317-532-5711. 317-532-5711. Schedule your free in-home estimate and get $1,000 off a new shower or bath, plus 36 months of interest-free financing. That's right. All you got to do is call today at 317-532-5711. Schedule a free in-home estimate with the Bath Authority and get $1,000 off a new shower or bath plus 36 months of interest-free financing. Walk-in tubs, replacement showers, tub-to-shower conversions, and more. The Bath Authority does it all. 317-532-5711 for $1,000 off a new shower or bath plus 36 months of interest-free financing. The Bath Authority com tell them Rob sent you people everywhere are binge watching their money now streaming on Lake City Bank digital when checking Mets savings together we make so much sense also featuring adventures of the penny pension my journey has not been an easy one but my budget is going to survive Watch new episodes of Your Money unfold every day on Lake City Bank Digital. Learn more at lakecitybank.com slash digital. Member FDIC. Attention seniors, you're invited to the grand opening of CenterWell Indy West. CenterWell offers primary care centered on seniors. So come celebrate on Thursday, April 18th at 5115 West Washington Street in Indianapolis from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Enjoy food, music, and more at this free community event. Plus, tour the new doctor's office and meet the care team. For details, call 317-754-7291 or visit meet centerwellindiana.com on a map the southern border is a thousand miles away but that's not how it feels to my family i grew up in a blue collar home in richmond my dad was a factory worker he was laid off twice not because the factory was doing poorly but because it was cheaper to move those jobs across the border i'm jameson carrier 
Today, it's not what's leaving across the border that's devastating our families. It's what's coming in. And once again, it's personal. My wife and I lost our son Joey to fentanyl, a tragedy that's become far too common. To President Biden, secure the border is just a talking point. But to our family, it's life and death. I'm Jamison Carrier. I'm a business owner, a native Hoosier, and a Trump Republican. And we can't wait another day to secure our border and put Americans first. I'm Jamison Carrier, and I approve this message. Jamison Carrier for Congress. Paid for by Carrier for Congress, Inc. Damon's Garden Center has endless varieties of trees, shrubs, vegetables, flowers, hanging baskets, plus garden and landscape supplies and a friendly, helpful staff at Damon's on West Rockville Road. Now offering 50% off all products, plus 20 months, no interest, no payments. Call now or go to bwindow.com. Trust me. Addiction. It's hard on those who struggle with it, but those who love the addict need support too. Matt Baer and Ryan Hedrick provide help and hope with supporting sobriety. Subscribe wherever you get your podcasts and on WIPC.com. Matt Baer has a look at the roads. All right, Hammer, westbound 70 crash clear at 200 west in Hancock County, and the traffic is about cleared out as well. Southbound 65, stop and go 21st to Meridian Pettit. Eastbound 72, downtown, stop and go traffic from Tibbs Avenue to Meridian, Illinois. Northbound 37, jammed up, Epler 2465, it's construction. Traffic sponsored by B Window for a limited time with B Window. Get 50% off all products in 20 months, no interest or payments, plus qualifying completed projects. Have a earn a $500 gift card at Sullivan Hardware and Garden. Details at bwindow.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for its to traffic updates at WIB. BC traffic 73 at the American Standard Cooling Weather Center had some action earlier today over at the field house. Uh, the introductory press conference with Caitlin Clark took oh, yeah. place. She was officially introduced to the Indianapolis market. Walked in through the red carpet, red carpet rollout for Caitlin. Absolutely. Yeah. Here's a little bit from the number one pick in the WNBA draft. Honestly, like. This might sound very like small city of me, but like it seems like a bigger Des Moines in a way, obviously a little bit bigger than Des Moines. Um, so that's what I'm most excited about. I'm not like a huge big city girl. So um, I feel like this is a perfect spot for myself, a place that loves basketball. Um, but more than anything, like this is in the Midwest. Uh, people might think I'm crazy for wanting to stay in the Midwest, but like that's just who I am. That's where my roots are. Um, I love the people here. Um, so I think that's what I'm most excited about of, you know, having an opportunity to come to an organization like this and be in a place where there can be a lot of support for it and uh, have a lot of people around me that I really love. And she talks about support. Uh, one of the first people to greet her as she made her way to this red carpet today was the star of the Pacers, Tyrese Halliburton. Oh, I saw that, yeah. She talked about that. Yeah, I honestly, I've watched the Pacers very closely. I, my boyfriend works for the Pacers, so I've become quite a fan. Um, but, I mean, Tyrese is, is incredible, and I just want to congratulate him. Obviously, being a name to the USA national team today um, is pretty special. It's a really hard accomplishment, and um, obviously he played for a very terrible team in college, but... Um, <laughs> It's nice to, to be in the same city now and, um, you know, the way I think the thing I love about him is the way he passes the ball. Like I watch watch his game and it's just incredible what he can do. So um, but all of them across the board, um, I think Coach Carlisle has been tremendous for them and it's been a lot of fun to watch. And, uh, you know, I hope they beat the Bucks. Now, again, if you didn't know, Tyrese Halliburton went to Iowa State uh, as yeah. Caitlin went to Iowa. Uh, real quick, I want to get to this before we hit a break here. What happened to Trevor Bauer, Major League Baseball player, is crap. So two gold-digging you-know-whats tried to extort money from him, lied that he sexually assaulted them. He's been able to prove this. He's got the text messages. He's never been charged with anything, but yet it cost him his baseball career. And now one of those accusers, one of these gold-diggers, is now facing fraud charges for trying oh, to wow. shake down Trevor Bauer and another dude. Here's just a little bit of the video that he put out last night. One of the women who accused me of sexual assault just got indicted for committing felony fraud against me. Imagine that. Now, let me catch up to speed. In the last three years, two women have taken legal action against me. Uh, Lindsay Hill started all this. You may remember her from this video as the girl who set me up and lied to the world in an attempt to take my money. 
Well, today, the only other one, Darcy Adana Asimonu, has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me Good. and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. Her claims are even more absurd than Lindsay's were. So okay, you can kind of stop it right there. And, and the he, video's like five minutes long. And he can't get a gig in baseball right, right. now. And that sucks. Still. Listen, I'm telling you, as a Cub fan, they could use his arm. <laughs> Cincinnati Reds fans, you could use his arm. The guy is only guilty of sleeping with crazy chicks, but that's a far cry from being a rapist or a sexual assault. Yeah. Uh, or That's disgusting what happened to him, and I hope he gets a second chance. Liberals have quit on America. We have a secure border. They'll deny it while they throw away the America we built together. I'm telling the American people that we're going to get control of inflation. It's no accident they let Indianapolis burn. Or why our border overflows. Jefferson Shreve, he fights back. He's conservative, pro-police, strong border. So he gets hit like this. Jefferson Shreve, Trump-style politics trashing our city. And what's more, Shreve takes no lobbyist money, owes no one, and can't be bought. So to them, Shreve is the enemy. Defend our country from the left, the elites, the ones who've been bought and sold. Defend it with a fighter who can't be bought. For law, order, and a secure border, he's Jefferson Shreve for Congress. I'm Jefferson Shreve, and I approve this message. Paid for by Shreve for Congress. Get the deal that can't be beat. The friendliest folks you'll ever meet. <laughs> it rhymed. Andy Moore Ford in Plainfield. AndyMooreFord.com. With their Get More Guarantee, you'll get more savings, more selection, and more for your trade. Get more out of your next service appointment at Andy Moore Ford. With Ford pickup and delivery, they'll come to you. Andy Moore Ford will pick up your vehicle, service it, and return it to your home or office. Come see for yourself why people choose Andy Moore Ford for their new car, for their new truck, for their new electric vehicle. And it's the birthday of the Ford Mustang. I'm driving the Mustang GT right now. You are going to love it. Check out everything on the lot or find everything online. Andy Moore Ford in Plainfield, right there at 2713 East Main Street in Plainfield. Your best deal on a new car or truck is waiting for you. Andy Moore Ford, M-O-H-R. I love Andy. AndyMooreFord.com. Attention Indiana homeowners, are you dealing with a wet and moldy crawl space? Hi, I'm Adam Swain with Swain Co. Crawl Space and Basement Repair, your real, local, Indiana family-owned experts dedicated to fixing your crawl space right the first time. And with our new, no interest, no payment financing, you can get the repairs you need without breaking the bank. Don't let crawl space water problems dampen your spirits. Call Swain Co., Indy's most trusted waterproofing experts at 317-407-1868 or swaincollc.com. Waiting on a tax return? Hopefully it ends up in your hands. Fraudulent tax returns due to identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Our U.S.-based restoration specialists are experts dedicated to helping solve your identity theft issues. And all LifeLock plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. So we'll reimburse you up to the limits of your plan if you lose money due to identity theft. Help protect your information this tax season with LifeLock. Save up to 25% your first year with promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. Hi, it's Bob from Royal Spa. Soaking in a hot tub full of Epsom salts is the absolute best way to minimize everyday aches and pains. And we know all about Epsom salts at Royal Spa. Royal Spa hot tubs are the only hot tubs on the market that can safely and effectively use Epsom salts. Made right here in Indiana, Royal Spa hot tubs are the highest quality hot tubs on the market. Visit any one of our three Indianapolis locations or visit RoyalSpa.com. Ah, Royal Spa. Your Indiana Pacers have clinched their spot in the NBA playoffs. Lee Smith in the lane. Hold it. And now it's time for you to bring the most revved up energy to Game Bridge Fieldhouse as we look to protect home court. Turner delivers. Milwaukee can go home now. Get revved up for a weekend of playoff basketball. Tickets now on sale for Pacers Bucks on Friday, April 26th at 5.30 and Sunday, April 28th at 7. Get your tickets at Pacers.com slash playoffs. 
Coming up in two minutes, what to know about the chances for severe weather today. My graduate workers at IU are on strike for at least the rest of the week. And the Fever's number one overall to pick was in Indy for the first time today. That's coming up after Fox News Radio from the Technology Recycler Studios. You are listening to 93 WIBC, WIBC HD1 Indianapolis. It's 4 o'clock. One article of impeachment is dismissed on Lisa Brady, Fox News. That Senate vote along party lines a short time ago after debate on several motions, including an effort to go into a closed session after Republicans were accused of bringing unconstitutional charges against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The only rational way to resolve this question is actually to debate it to consider the Constitution and consider the law. Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz, as Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, tried to push an agreement to allow limited debate on impeachment instead of a full trial. We gave your side a chance for debate in public, where it should be, and your side objected. We are moving forward. Schumer says the case against Mayorkas doesn't meet the high standard of high crimes and misdemeanors. Republicans accuse the secretary of willfully refusing to enforce immigration laws. If the second article is also dismissed, the impeachment trial will be over before arguments start. President Biden proposing higher tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum. They're not competing. They're cheating. They're cheating. And we've seen the damage here in America. You know, back in the early 2000s, the Chinese steel began floating the mar- fl- flooding the market in steel towns all across Pennsylvania and Ohio, who hit very hard. The president in Pittsburgh with steel workers, his second of three days campaigning in Pennsylvania. After announcing that plan, telling reporters he's not concerned the higher tariffs will hurt his relationship with China's president. The president also announcing he's backing the House Speaker's plan to advance aid for Israel and Ukraine by putting separate bills on the floor with votes expected Saturday. Former President Trump, meantime, meeting with Poland's president, who's also making a pitch for more U.S. aid to Ukraine. To Ukraine. Stocks finish lower. The Dow down 46 points at the bell. America is listening to Fox News. 93 WIBC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. Still a threat for some severe storms. Partly cloudy and 72 degrees in downtown Indianapolis. All good so far on the radar. Low temps drop to the lower 50s tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox for Moss Roofing. Here's what's trending at 402. Rain is still possible today, but the threat for severe weather is mostly for areas east of the capital city. Northwestern parts of Ohio and possibly even northeastern parts of Indiana are going to be in the most likely area for that. The threat area does extend into central Indiana, but just from Indianapolis north and eastward. Matt Eckhoff with the National Weather Service. Hancock is one of several of the counties east of Indy that's under a tornado watch until 7 tonight. The Indiana Graduate Workers Coalition is on strike because they want to be recognized as a union and to get better pay if they don't have their demands met by Friday. We have some, uh, we have some uh, plans in the work. Uh, we are hoping to announce those later this week uh, if the administration doesn't respond. David Garner's with the coalition. He says they've never been able to have a discussion with Indiana University President Pamela Witten despite several attempts to get in contact with her. The pilot who died in a small plane crash in Tippecanoe County last week was ID'd as Alexander Foss. The 20-year-old was a student at Purdue. An investigation into how the crash happened is still going on. Caitlin Clark, she's arrived in Indianapolis. John Herrick reports on her mindset now that she's a member of the Indiana Fever. At a Wednesday news conference, Clark was asked about how she was able to be a successful basketball player, even at a young age, growing up in Iowa. You know, AAU coaches I had growing up, whether it was high school coaches, whether it was my parents, whether it was my family, you know, they never told me I couldn't achieve something. Like, it was always like, if you want it, you can go get it. You just have to earn it. And I think that's like the biggest thing I would tell the younger generation. The Fever begins their regular season on May 14th. John Herrick, 93, WIBC Mobile News. And Spark on the Circles coming back to the monument this year. Downtown Indy Incorporated announced today they're going to roll out the synthetic turf back over the bricks in the circle starting June 1st. They expect to see plenty of vendors, games, seating, and live music in the northwest quadrant of the circle this summer. You're one minute away of, from traffic and weather. It's 4.04. Um, Congresswoman Sparks will be ready for your interview soon. It seems pretty intense in there. Yeah, kind of crazy. Maybe I'll take some time before the interview to Google Victoria Sparks and learn a little more about her. 
Uh, whoa. Have you seen this article? One aide calling the lawmaker's workplace behavior manic? Victoria Sparts was number one on Legistorm's list of worst bosses based on high turnover rates. Says she, quote, avoided firing aides and instead bullied them until they left. And the story is based on interviews with half a dozen former staffers. Yikes. Sparts called staff morons and idiots. I get this. Victoria Sparts says her working style is, quote, not for everyone. Well, it's not for me. I think I'll pass on this interview. I'm Chuck Goodrich. I'm running for Congress, and I approve this message. Paid for by Go with Chuck Goodrich Committee. With traffic in the five at 405, here's Matt Bear. All right, Harrison looking at the east side, northbound 465, stop and go after 70 up to 71st, and southbound 65, it's a stall. Blocks the right lane after 96th Street and southbound 65 loaded from MLK to Meridian Pet eastbound 70 full house coming into downtown from Tibbs into the south split. Reminder, Fall Creek Parkway closed at Evanston until the 30th of April. And that's hopefully the weather cooperates so they can open up. Then it's for road construction. The whole area is getting very busy. I would avoid traffic sponsored by Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield. They've teamed up with the Indiana Fever and Common Threads to provide local schools with information for nutritious meal preparation. Learn more at anthem.com slash fever. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield is the trade name of Anthem Insurance Companies Incorporated. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Cooling Weather Center. Looks like as we move towards Wednesday evening, skies will start clearing out, winds will start dying down, and temperatures will drop, but only to about 50 degrees overnight. As you move into Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high temperature around 80. I'm Winch TV Storm Track 8 Meteorologist Drew Arsutis for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. Hammer and Nigel. Can you believe these characters are weirdos? So let's rock! go out on a limb and say that I, I didn't mind the spark on the circle thing that Harrison Silcox was just talking about at the top of the hour where they shut down a quadrant of Monument Circle and turned it into a bunch of games. They put a bunch of green turf down and there's there's vendors out there and chairs and um, it was sitting right outside our building last year and I think they're moving it. What did you say? What, did I hear him say like the northwest quadrant of the circle? Says, right. If I just walk out this building and be to the left of us now. And it's going to be for a longer period of time, June 1st to November oh, 3rd. Oh, no kidding. I didn't mind it. I, was, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, and anything looks better than what's going on down there right now with that renovation on the north side of Monument Circle. Yeah, this that's a mess. This construction that's been happening on the circle is like the construction on Rockville Road. Feels like it's been going on forever. I don't know what the timetable is here, but you're right. It's it's not pretty. Hopefully it will be when they get done. But the reason why Spark happens still kind of rubs me the wrong way a little bit. You have to remind me. So Boss Hogsett and his good time party boys at the City County Council. They couldn't control the crime on Monument Circle. So what they did was shut down a quadrant of it to try to basically spread it out throughout downtown Indianapolis. And now they can do a victory lap going, well, under our leadership, we have lowered crime on Monument Circle by this percent. Well, yeah, but you had to shut down half of the circle to do it. And they've added so many security guards to make sure this thing works. Right? I see officers down there all the time protecting this thing when it's open, that if you just would have did that when the circle was open, maybe you wouldn't have had to have done no, it. But I know you're not complaining about the amount of security down here, right? No, I'm wondering yeah. why that it takes a putting green to get that. That's my angle. <laughs> you put putting greens on Monument Circle, boy, oh, boy, we've got a whole team down here to protect the circle. But if it's a regular day in the past... Ah, screw it. That homeless guy that's fondling himself with a knife doesn't mean any harm. <laughs> Ow! I mean, you, why does it take, you know, there was a homeless tin city underneath the, the Hilbert Circle Theater awning a couple of years ago. That disappeared pretty quick when the NCAA tournament right. came to Indy, didn't it? My favorite is when Abdul and I saw the homeless couple's Consummating a relationship oh, under oh the awning of the Hilbert Theater. Like, that's what was taking place here. Now, we haven't seen that level of debauchery in a while. We've seen it Good. on the steps of the monument. 
there was like a viral Instagram picture going oh, around. Oh, that's right. I remember that. That was at the beginning that's of the construction. Strange. But uh, yeah, it's gotten a little better, but it took the mayor putting in a putting green and, you know, beanbag toss for security to be dedicated on Monument Circle. We've been saying make that happen all the time, yeah, well, even without Spark. Fortunately, they don't have, you know, they're 350 recruits shy of their goal in IMPD. They're spread pretty thin. Shocking that that's the case when the city of Indianapolis is basically begging the Department of Justice to look into the IMPD yeah. to make sure, you know, these shootings are all justified. Again, don't tell me that the IMPD just openly volunteered for this, something they wanted to have happen. And look, they're about transparency. Body cams have been, I think, a godsend to the IMPD officers, at least to the officers that I know. These body cams keep them out of a lot of trouble because it shows the amount of lunacy they have to deal with. And it shows a lot of times these shootings are indeed justified. It's like, wait a minute, why? We need to bring the Department of Justice in to figure out why there are more police action shootings here in the Circle City. Well, maybe because there's more bad guys shooting at police. Maybe because there's a revolving door of the criminal justice system. These guys that uh, commit felonies and they get right back out the door and then they go and do it more and uh, over and over and over and over again. Maybe that's, I mean, I can save you a lot of money. Right. More you just saved a lot of people some cash with that. More bad guys with little regard or zero regard for human life shooting at police officers. That's probably why there's more police action shootings. And it's not just Boss Hogshead. I know we beat up on that guy all the time, and deservedly so. But it's team coverage for screwing things up. It takes a prosecutor that really wants to be a public defender like Ryan Mears, and it takes woke, Judge. ridiculous judges like Mark Stoner. And I've said it before, and I will say it again. Today is April 17th. It's 4.11 p.m., and Judge Mark Stoner is the worst judge in the state of Indiana. This story from the New York Post, Nige, I think this warrants our attention. Oh, boy. An unfortunate soul had to undergo emergency surgery after fracturing his crank in <laughs> two places while he was sleeping. Wait, while... Uh, <clears throat> what? I'm sorry? It left him with a condition called eggplant deformity. This is not a real story. This is from the New York Post. This is real. This a 27-year-old patient from Tunisia had reportedly rolled over on his happy little soldier, so to speak, <laughs> while he was sleeping. And according to the New York Post, quote, a shocking result in an audible snap. Ah! An audible snap and subsequent intense pain. So he had to go to the doctor. There was major swelling, and he fractured his... Crank. How is that even possible? I in mean, two there, places. There's no bone in there, is there? Well, I mean, I know, I know, I know the. When you get excited, there's a name for that, but there's technically no bone in there, is there? I, mean, I don't know how this snapped. is possible, but he was excited in his sleep, <laughs> yeah, rolled more, over, more, and an audible snap. That's not what you want to hear. Morning wood. Yes, really is what it's called. It's always strange places like Tunisia. Right. Like, you hear about these crazy, dumb stories. It's like, not like Bedford. <laughs> Dateline Bedford, Indiana. Some hillbilly snapped his crank off. <laughs> You're right. It always is some out of, you know, pocket country here. Out of mind country. It's never new pal. <laughs> <laughs> so, according to a new study, the most stressful time of the day, is 8.15 a.m. According to this study, 8.15 a.m. is the time where a couple different things are taking place. People are getting ready for the morning, helping their kids get off to school, you know, making breakfast, commuting. All of that factors into being the most stressful time of the day. I feel like this applies only if you have small kids. Does that make sense? I mean, is 8.15 stressful for you, Hammer? No, I mean, I'm. You got kids. You got one in college and one in high school. 
Yeah, I'm driving one to high school at 8.15, but half yeah. the time I just got basketball shorts on and yeah. a who-farted T-shirt. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's overly stressful. <laughs> uh, what gets stressful for me is when, like, the kids haven't eaten, we oversleep, you know, they have to be in line at a certain time. At We drive our kids to school, too, and if you don't get there at a certain time, you're screwed. You're, like, backed up out on the street. Ooh. That's a little stressful for me. But I don't have to be anywhere, luckily, at a certain time in the morning. Yeah, running late. Anywhere else besides school, that is. Running late's the worst. That's when I'm at my most stressful. And it just feels like whenever I'm running late, that's when I run into the worst group yeah. of drivers imaginable. Preparing for vacation with my my better half is can be some preparing for it see i love to prepare for it well i hate cleaning up afterwards bringing the just, luggage home and you just try to prepare for a trip to florida <laughs> with one miss Lindsay laskowski <laughs> you'll understand what i'm talking about i'm i'm a little more casual than she is let's just put it that way okay fair enough uh matt bear what's going on look at the southbound 69a after 96th Street blocking the right lane, not hurting us too much here at the moment. On the east side, northbound 465, stop and go 70 up to 71st and southbound 65, load at MLK to Meridian Pen. Inbound 70 from the east side, stop and go rural into the north split. You continue southbound. That's going to be stop and go traffic to Fletcher Avenue. Eastbound 70, stop and go running from Belmont to Meridian, Illinois. And south side, eastbound 465, loaded from 72 Man Road opens up after that. Traffic sponsored by the Indianapolis Men's Clinic. Guys, solve your ED today with an intimacy guarantee only at the Indianapolis Men's Clinic. If you don't perform, you don't pay. Call the Indianapolis Men's Clinic at 999-9000. That's 999-9000. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. All right, going back to the story about the guy in Tunisia who rolled over in the middle of the night. Oh, do we have to repeat it again? And snapped his crank. <laughs> And an audible snap sound happened, and now he's got a condition. Roger tweets at us, at Hammer and Nigel, oh, it's possible. I know a guy, and he wasn't asleep. Said it looked like the floor of a butcher shop. Loud pop and lots of blood. Meanwhile, Rodney tweets at us. What? Rodney tweets at us, at Hammer and Nigel, all time, how did you injure your crotch winner? (laughs) Thank you. Rodney. S- segment sometimes here on the Hammer and Nigel show. And that seat right there is where Mike, Ute, Pe- Mike Pence used to sit. I thought you were going to say Mike Pence used to injure his crotch. <laughs> 73 at the American Standard Cooling Weather Center. Is this anything next? A broken border, corrupt politicians, and the rise of communist China. We don't need leaders who will surrender. We need America first conservative Mike Speedy. Mike Speedy endorses President Trump and will join him to fix our border once and for all. Mike Speedy will fight the woke leftists to guarantee life and liberty. Speedy has a track record of fighting and winning. Mike Speedy is the only candidate in the GOP primary with both an A-plus rating from the NRA and the endorsement of Indiana Right to Life. Speedy is the conservative who beat the abortion lobby, voting to make Indiana pro-life in the post-Roe v. Wade era. Mike Speedy also voted to ban sanctuary cities and voted to guarantee our right to constitutional carry. Mike Speedy, America first conservative for Congress. Vote Republican Mike Speedy in Indiana's 6th Congressional on or before May 7th. I'm Mike Speedy. I'm running for Congress, and I approve this message. Paid for by Mike Speedy for Congress. Get ready for storm season because you know as well as I do, storms in Indiana can be fierce, and they can come out of nowhere. So don't wait for a leak to have your roof inspected. Have peace of mind about your roof being able to handle any storm. Moss Roofing, M-O-S-S, mossroofing.com, provides free inspections and can spot potential issues before they turn into costly repairs. Whether you're looking for a siding replacement after a strong wind or a roof replacement after a hailstorm, Moss Roofing has options that fit any budget. Just ask Moss Roofing about their payment plans. No matter your situation, Moss Roofing has you covered with a job done right every shingle time. I love that. That's very funny. Contact Moss Roofing today. 317-747-3665. 317-747-3665. Tell them 
Tony Katz sent you. Moss Roofing, 747-3665 or online at Moss, M-O-S-S, mossroofing.com. Sinus pressure, congestion, snoring, being unable to sleep, being unable to breathe. Yep, it's another sinus infection. You've Googled, watched videos, tried over-the-counter sprays, medications, and home remedies, but nothing ever works. There must be some kind of treatment that can help, right? Indianapolis Sinus Center understands how draining it can be when you try treatment after treatment without any relief. That's why they've been serving and treating the community for over 50 years. Indianapolis Sinus Center has performed thousands of procedures and helped thousands of patients find lasting relief they didn't know was possible. Patients like you. If you've had enough of sinus pain, pressure, and congestion, schedule a visit with Indianapolis Sinus Center today. Call 317-528-9650 and take the first step toward breathing easy. 317-528-9650. That's 317-528-9650 or visit indianapolissinuscenter.com. That moment when you realize you have a serious air conditioner issue. A real strip down to your skivvies, no one sleeping tonight, head in the freezer, fail party. But fear not, there's an expert for that. Let your local experts at Broad Ripple Service Experts keep you cool. Get worry-free comfort for one low monthly payment. Want to chill? There's an expert for that. Call Broad Ripple Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. Waiting on a tax return? Hopefully it ends up in your hands. Fraudulent tax returns due to identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Our U.S.-based restoration specialists are experts dedicated to helping solve your identity theft issues. And all LifeLock plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. So we'll reimburse you up to the limits of your plan if you lose money due to identity theft. Help protect your information this tax season with LifeLock. Save up to 25% your first year with promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. The countdown is on for the 2024 NFL Draft presented by Bud Light in Detroit, and you can attend in person for free. Experience live concerts, interactive games, player autographs, and more April 25th to 27th. Visit NFL.com slash draft access to register for free entry today. This hour on 93 WIBC powered by Damon's Lawn and Garden on West Rockville Road. Hammer and Nigel presents is on what the meaning of the word is. Yes. Is this anything? All right, let's rock and roll. Rock and roll. Let's do it. How do we play? Is this anything? I just slid you over a note card of how we play. Oh. Based on the advice of somebody yesterday oh, in yeah, uh, that's right. Caller Roulette. We had a complaint. Somebody <laughs> was very upset that you asked me how to play this game every day and suggested on a radio program... <laughs> That I slide you a note card of how it works. So that's what we've done today. Okay. All right. Now I know how it works. I've read the note card. (laughs) Is this anything? An elephant was running loose in Montana yesterday after it escaped from a traveling circus that was in town. Oh, no. Here's a quick clip from somebody witnessing the elephant running wild. Elephant walking down the road. Oh, my God. Only in Butte, the circus elephant got loose. Where are you going, friend? <laughs> and he's gone. Dude, I'm, I'm like, they're laughing. I see an elephant walking down the middle of Meridian, and nobody is around to corral it, and it's headed straight for me. I'm not laughing. I'm running into the nearest clothing store and buying a new pair of shorts <laughs> this thing was huge yes now because it was probably captive and docile I, I, they were easily they were able to corral it and and get it back to its safe space i did read that it took a dump on somebody's lawn before they were able to get it back to the circus big old <laughs> elephant dump oh, man like imagine living in montana oh, yeah that's the last thing you would expect that you have to clean up on your yard elephant dung i'm telling you though it's no joke those things like there was a big story about a month ago of a charging elephant that killed an el- elderly american woman on a safari tour in zambia yeah, so that's a real thing. She, they were on like a golf cart, and this thing just came charging out of nowhere and knocked her over. It was moving quick. Yeah, yeah. But so was this one, but they were able to get it pretty good. So, yeah, no thank you. That would freak me out. So an elephant running down the street, you 
would go buy a new pair of shorts. I, on the other hand, would go up and introduce myself to Joy Behar. <laughs> That's it for me, everybody. Good night. Hey, oh. <laughs> Is this anything? Wow. A minor league hockey team in Cleveland honored a guy this past weekend because he saved a kid from a stray hockey puck that was coming oh, to the crowd. Oh, man. It happened at a Cleveland Monsters game. It's a minor league hockey team last week. Here's Andrew, the hero, and the kid's mom talking about what happened. I just saw it. it was like wobbling and whatnot. So I was like, oh, God, the first thing I got to do, first instinct is protect the kid, jump in front of it. I just kind of went off to the side and it actually hit me like on the inside of the hand right here. And after he caught the puck, he told me that the empty seat next to him was his seat, too. If I was him, I would have been switched seats. I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. Yeah, you got to keep your head on a swivel when you go to baseball games and hockey games. I feel like those are the two. Or maybe if you're sitting like courtside on an NBA basketball game, right. you got to really be on the lookout. But baseball especially, you've heard these horror stories of foul balls hitting to the concession stands and people aren't looking around and getting nailed, much less, you know, a, a baseball player breaks his bat. I remember a baseball game a few years ago where a baseball player broke his bat like three consecutive times. You remember that at all? Does that, yeah. does that sound familiar? And each time his bat went into the stands and nearly just took somebody out. So I don't know how often a puck at a hockey game makes it that makes its way into the stands, but yeah, you got to be paying attention, right? And those hockey pucks, like the foul balls, they're moving like real fast. They're not into the stands because they floated up into there. Those things are moving. Is this anything? Gonna need a little uh. A little mood music here. Journey? Journey's Greatest Hits album. Featuring this iconic song, Don't Stop Believing," Just became the third album to hit 800 weeks on the Billboard 200 chart. Okay. That's 15 years and almost four months. I it get it. It follows Pink Floyd's Dark Side of the Moon and Bob Marley's Legend as the longest charting albums. Is this anything? This is something, and I got a little piece of trivia for you for your, your Journey fans. By, by the way, we, uh, at my wife and I's wedding, we walked out uh, to the reception to Don't Stop Believing. I, I mean, that's probably their number one all time. I think it's gotten more popular uh, really, as time goes by. It's got to be there. That's, that's on the top of the list in terms of journey songs don't let me i mean forget about faithfully in separate ways and open arms wheel in the sky um but i got a little piece of trivia here for you for another journey song which one of journey's greatest hits never even appeared on one of their original studio albums hmm think of the movie vision quest okay i was trying to think of a movie i thought maybe you know, any way you want it on Caddyshack, but I think that was on an album. Any I got way, nothing for Vision Quest. Only the Young. Remember this song, Only the Young? Oh, That wow. was never actually on a Journey album. Really? It was on the Vision Quest movie soundtrack. Remember Vision Quest with Matthew Modine and yeah. he's the college or uh, the high school wrestler? Madonna also had a big song on that soundtrack, Crazy For You, the ballad. That's right. Vision Quest oh, soundtrack wow. did a lot better than the movie did. Vision Quest. Yeah. It's the Hammer and Nigel show. People everywhere are binge watching their money. Now streaming on Lake City Bank Digital. When checking Met Savings. Together we make so much sense. Also featuring the day the spending stopped. Sometimes saving money just feels so right. And the incredible shrinking debt. Honey, come look. Our loan balance is so tiny. Plus, adventures of the penny pincher. My journey has not been an easy one, but my budget is going to survive. Watch new episodes of Your Money unfold every day now streaming on Lake City Bank Digital. Learn more at lakecitybank.com slash digital. Member FDIC. 
pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. 93 WIBC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. Why they aren't working. 72 degrees, mostly cloudy downtown. Radar still clear. Low temps to the 50s tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox for Lake City Bank. Here's what's trending at 429. The Indiana Graduate Workers Coalition is on strike today and through the rest of the week at IU. From day one, we've been voting for, or we've been fighting for our living wage and union recognition. David Garner, who's with the coalition, says being recognized as a union gives them a seat at the bargaining table with the university, giving them more protections and allowing them to have more opportunities for raises. They want more money. That's closer to the cost of living. There's a chance for some severe weather east of Indianapolis this afternoon, says Matt Eckhoff with the National Weather Service. I think the best chance of severe weather is more towards Ohio because things are going to take a, a little bit of time to kind of ramp up. Uh, the stuff that develops west of Indianapolis might not be too bad. Parts of eastern Indiana are parts of a tornado watch that extends into Ohio and lasts until 7 tonight. The Senate is holding an impeachment trial against Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayor. Today. The only rational way to resolve this question is actually to debate it, to consider the Constitution and consider the law. Texas Senator Ted Cruz, Republicans want Mayorkas gone, claiming he's not done a good enough job keeping illegal immigrants from crossing the southern border. While visiting with union steelworkers in Pittsburgh, President Joe Biden says he plans on expanding tariffs on China. My U.S. trade representative is investigating trade practices by the Chinese government regarding steel and aluminum. If that investment confirms these anti-competitive trade practices, then I'm calling on her to consider tripling the tariff rates for both steel <laughs> and aluminum ports from China. While campaigning in Pennsylvania, Biden says he wants economic fairness. And if you're an AES Indiana customer, you'll have to pay more on your electric bill, explains John Herrick. The Indiana Utility Regulatory Commission says the increase would amount to about $9 a month more for the average AES Indiana customer. But that increase is not as much as AES Indiana was asking for. The agreement also reduces depreciation expenses, among other things. Centerpoint and Duke Energy both have asked for rate increases as well. Well, John Herrick, 93, WIBC Mobile News. And at the closing bell, the Dow dropped by 45 to 37,753. The NASDAQ also down by 181 to 15,683. And the S&P 500 down by 29 at 5,022. You're one minute away from traffic and weather. It's 432. A sleep divorce happens when bed partners sleep in different rooms because one of them has a snoring problem. It's nothing to be embarrassed about, but it is unfortunate, especially when there are simple non-surgical solutions that can put snoring problems to bed for good. I'm Dr. Mudden Candula with Advent, where our exclusive focus is the nose and throat, which is exactly where your snoring problem is coming from. If 20 years ago you told me I'd be helping relationships flourish again, I'd have laughed. But in many cases, that is the case. Because helping your bed partner stop snoring so the two of you can get back to sleeping together again can do just that. Go to AdventNose.com today to schedule your appointment and learn more about our effective breathing triangle solutions. Because Advent knows when you breathe well, you live better. Breathe well with simple solutions. Breathe well with simple solutions. AdventNose.com Results may vary. The traffic at 433. How are the roads map air? Harrison westbound 70 is loaded up from Emerson Avenue to the north split. That delay continues on northbound 65 out to West Street. Southbound 65 stop and go traffic before MLK to the north of split. That delay continues on eastbound 70 out to rural. Eastbound 70 on the west side stop and go Tibbs Avenue into Meridian, Illinois. East side northbound 465 full house running from 70 up to 75th and south side slow in pockets on eastbound 
southbound 465 from 70 through the work zone over to Emerson Avenue. Traffic sponsored by B Window. For a limited time with B Window, get 50% off all products in 20 months, no interest or payments, plus qualifying completed projects earning $500 gift card at Sullivan Hardware and Garden Details at bwindow.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Cooling Weather Center. Looks like as we move towards Wednesday evening, skies will start clearing out, winds will start dying down, and temperatures will drop, but only to about 50 degrees overnight. As you move into Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high temperature around 80. I'm Winch TV Storm Track 8 meteorologist Drew Sudis for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. You're listening to the Hammer and Nigel Show. Dateline, Lawrence County, Indiana. I believe that's uh, south of Bloomington. An Indiana woman facing narcotics charges after she called 911 to report purchasing an inferior batch of meth <laughs> and said she wanted to file charges against her drug dealer. Isn't that just the worst? You work hard all week. You save your money. You buy, you know, local meth because you're trying to help the economy. You buy local and you get a bad batch. You buy local. Sarah Harris, uh, 34 years old, of Bedford, Indiana. Is Bed- Bedford home of Damon Bailey? Is this the same? Bedford, Bedford? North Lawrence, uh, yeah. Okay, is this the same area? Twice dialed the police. <laughs> emergency number to declare that her meth was not what it was supposed to be (laughs) and it left her feeling as if she was having a heart attack she said she snorted a line of the meth and felt quote something different when it touched her skin and nostrils so to be clear here she called 911 twice not because she thought she was having a medical condition Mm -hmm. but she was dissatisfied with the meth that she bought. And they want, she wanted to file charges against her <laughs> drug dealer. Uh, this woman had noted that she and a friend had, quote, smoked a bowl of normal meth <laughs> before they eventually obtained the abnormal meth that led her to call 911. Now, this may be a dumb guy question because I have never done meth. Are there levels... Like with beer, you know, there's Miller and there's Miller Lite. Like with meth, is there normal meth and then extreme meth? I I have no idea. I've never been around meth. I've never seen it. But it must, you know, booze and weed ain't got nothing on meth, apparently. Because people just shovel that crap in their systems and they don't stop until they're dead. A weed lab doesn't make your trailer explode. (laughs) The more you know, yeah. Rainbow. Put that on a public service announcement. Yeah, uh, I don't ever want to be around it. I've I've been around. Let's see. The hardest drug I've ever been around was uh, a little bit of the China, a little bit of the the booger the the, the booger sugar. Gotcha. The Coke. Uh, offered it, never did it. No, thank you. In fact, I remember when the first time I was offered it, the guy's like, "Do you party?" I go. Yeah, I like to I like to party. I'm having a good time. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do you do you party? And he's like nodding his head to you. <laughs> I've got my red solo cup of Miller Lite draft. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm having a good time. This is a this is a good party. <laughs> like even the hookers are rolling their eyes at this point. God, can we just get out of here? This guy doesn't know what we're talking oh, about. Oh, and then he showed me the little bag. I'm like, oh, no, thanks. Oh, cocaine. <laughs> you guys are talking about no, cocaine. You guys are talking about coke? <laughs> no, I don't party. Then. No, no, never. Allison, you work on the Home and Garden Show every weekend. <laughs> At any point, has the conversation of how to protect your house from your meth lab exploding come up? Uh, not yet. Not yet. This Saturday, that's your assignment. Well, I want you to get it in the conversation somehow. It's like, you know, we were talking about this on the Hammer and Nigel show. Let's say you got a meth lab. Sure. No, no, What's no. the best way to make sure it's not going to blow up my house? <laughs> and then ask Denny Smith if he's ever partied. <laughs> I'll start with that, start actually. Start with that. Hey, Denny, have you ever partied? <laughs> Why, yes, I've built my own helicopter before. Uh, end of an era coming to an airport near you, Nige. That's it. According to a lot of 
experts in the airline industry, the reclining seat on your plane is being phased out slowly. And in the next couple of years, you're not going to be able to recline on your airline seat. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't do, I, I don't recline anyway because there's too much trouble associated with it. You piss off the wrong person, the next thing you know, you're getting dragged off the fight, off the flight because you're in a fight with somebody that was offended that you leaned your seat back two inches. You know who right? does recline? The long-haired hippie that always sits in front Ew. of me. Sends it all the way back, puts their hair back there, and that's when I start kicking the bejesus out of their seat. <laughs> so This will be the longest two-hour flight of your life here, kid. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, it's just issue after issue with passengers and flight attendants and spilled drinks and damaged electronics, and I, I think it's a blessing in disguise. Actually, it's also a lot I mean, cheaper, like cheaper to make the seats that don't yeah, recline. I mean, they're already trying to fit as many people, those making those seats as small as possible. Right. Now, I get it. I got what the kids call a fat ass. <laughs> the kids say that? That's what the kids are saying these well, days. Well, that's not very nice. Somebody should teach those kids some manners. <laughs> but these seats are pretty small. Like, this is a hill that I will die on, even though... I'm getting a little larger as life goes on. Leon's getting larger. The seats are getting smaller. Yeah. And like the Big Macs and Whoppers, they're not as big as they used to be. Oh, and no. you can't tell me otherwise. Yeah, shrinkflation, ladies and gentlemen. Shrinkflation. I will say and I maintain that sitting near the back of the plane right next to the bathroom, if you're a guy that likes to have a cocktail or two, is the best seat in the house on the aisle. I'm with you. And and those seats don't recline because they're right up against the wall. So if you're somebody that enjoys a cocktail flight like we do, yes. would you rather sit by the window no. or on the aisle? No, no, no. Never, never the You're not a window the, guy. I, I'm a window guy. I like sitting next to the window. I like looking out the window, but I just have to in you know, my bladder. I got you know, almost forty eight years old, man. There's a lot of booze in that <laughs> belly. <laughs> Got to go hit the can well, sometimes. Well, that's what I, I think I said, told this story. We paid like we paid for an upgrade so we could get on the plane first. And Connor, my 12-year-old, said, Dad, let's go sit in the very back of the plane. Yeah. And we just spent 50 bucks on getting an upgrade. He goes, like he had no concept of what I was talking about. Connor knows the cool kids sit in the back. Yeah, cool kids sit in the back just like the bus. Right. All right, all right. On the you. bus, in the classroom, you can get away with some shenanigans and it turned in the back. Out, and it turned out well because I was able, you know, I made friends with the flight attendant. They gave me, like, an extra drink coupon. It was fine. So I have to thank my 12-year-old in retrospect. So there's an NBA player now that has been banned for life from the league because he got busted in a gambling ring. Now, it's not a big wow. player. It's one of those guys that, you know, is at the back end of the bench, went back and forth between the G League and the NBA. A Toronto Raptors player, Jonte Porter, he's been banned for life because the league did an investigation and they found out he was throwing prop bets involving himself. Whoops. So what would happen here is he would have his buddy put a huge amount of money under two and a half three pointers made by Porter in the game. And he'd check into the game and immediately fake an injury <laughs> or say that he's sick or miss a few shots and wow. you know say he's got to come out. And the league noticed why is somebody betting eighty thousand dollars on a porter <laughs> prop? And then he mysteriously got sick and had to come out. These dummies. That happened a couple times. That's so greedy. And it turns yeah. out he not only was betting on games, but people were betting his props and he was throwing them. Well, what do you think? I've been seeing headlines about the possibility uh, the possibility of the NCAA eliminating prop bets from their basketball games. Have you seen those headlines? You know what I'm talking about? Right. And it's going to be tough for them to do it, though. If you're going to say that they deserve name, image, likeness money, and these college kids could be millionaires, hell, the Texas kid is endorsing private planes now. He has access to his own private plane. It's hard to say these student athletes, oh, they're so poor. You can't be betting on them because they don't have any money. Like, usually they only have college prop bets out for the major players, right? So let's pump the brakes a little bit on these poor college kids. It's not like it was 
you know, 30, 40 years ago. Again, these athletes now in college are making bank. Caitlin Clark, she made more money in Iowa than she's going to yeah. make in four years with the <laughs> Indiana Fever because of the name, That's image, crazy. likeness stuff. That's crazy, but they, she deserves every penny. All right, let's give away some Aerosmith tickets. Okay. Caller number 9, 239 9393. Aerosmith is coming January 16th, Gamebridge Fieldhouse. It's the Peace Out Farewell Tour. The Black Crows are the opening act. Great show. Caller number 9, 239 9393. The game today, Steven Tyler or He's an Outsider. So, if you're ready to play that game, caller number nine, good luck. My man, Mark Beetle, the only real estate expert I trust and recommend with the sale of my home. How about Greg and Franklin? Here's what he had to say. My tenant moved out of my investment property, and I was done and ready to sell. I heard about Mark Beetle on the show, and everything they say is true. In 15 days on the market, I had a cash offer on the property, and it was done. Selling with Mark Beetle was fast, easy, and profitable. What separates Mark Deedle from the competition is the guarantee. Mark Deedle guarantees your home sold at a mutually agreed upon price and deadline, or he will buy it. That's how much confidence Mark Deedle has. You pick your move date, no long-term contracts. Call Mark Deedle today. They will explain this amazing guarantee for you personally. 317 755 4232 or go to his website markdeedle.com that's mark d i e t e l markdeedle.com tell him hammer and nigel sent you tim mcgraw in concert the standing room only tour 2024 a night filled with your favorite songs tomorrow night at gamebridge fieldhouse with special guest Carly Pierce and Randall King. Get tickets now at Ticketmaster.com. Don't miss Tim McGraw, presented by Sports Illustrated. Your home is your sanctuary. Get the peace of mind you deserve with a free estimate on a Generac automatic standby generator for your home from Generator Supercenter, the nation's number one Generac generator dealer with expert installation and 24-hour monitoring. Generator Supercenter won't leave you in the dark. Financing is available. Take control of your power today with Generator Supercenter. Call 317-827-0808. Generator Supercenter of Indianapolis, 317-827-0808. Let Bill Estes put you behind the wheel of the powerhouse brands that define American toughness. Ford, Chevy, Ram, and GMC. Get in on Ram Truck Month with exclusive deals. Right now, get $2,500 retail consumer cash on most new 2024 Ram 1500s. Unleash the power of the road with Bill Estes Trucks. Find the location near you and see their inventory at BillEstesTrucks.com. TRX models excluded from all offers. See dealer for complete details. Take retail delivery by April 30th, 2024. Hey, it's Big Joe for Absolute Comfort, your trusted, independent, American standard air dealer. The owner is Chris Wedekin, and he sells the ductless Mitsubishi Electric Mini Split, which is an extremely efficient and cost-effective way to heat and cool your space. If you're looking to lower your carbon footprint and you're looking to try to get something that's more energy efficient that works well with solar panels or something like that, these are the perfect solution. Find out more at AbsoluteComfort.org. Absolute Comfort is your trusted, independent, American Standard Air Mitsubishi Electric Elite Ductless Pro Dealer. Well, Cody was 24 years old, and he uh, had a big sense of humor. Always liked to make people laugh. Dennis DeMoss of Reith Riley Construction's son, Cody, was killed May 9th, 2014, while working in the cone zone. Well, it was a normal day. Get dressed, drink coffee, and my phone rang. It was about 5.30. It was one of the workers on the road. Uh, Cody's been in an accident. He didn't make it. Someone come through the construction zone and hit two of our guys. I hung the phone up. My wife's standing right beside me, and our daughter, she was standing there. The hardest part was to tell them right then that our son just was dead. All of our people that's out there, they are moms and dads and brothers and sisters, and we want to go home, too. We're not out there to inconvenience people. We're trying to make it better for everybody. Give us some space, let us do our work, and uh, we'll be out of your way and move on. 
A message from Indiana's District Council of Laborers International Union of North America and affiliated locals. Damon's Garden Center has endless varieties of trees, shrubs, vegetables, flowers, hanging baskets, plus garden and landscape supplies and a friendly, helpful staff at Damon's on West Rockville Road. Now offering 50% off all products, plus 20 months, no interest, no payments. Call now or go to bwindow.com. Trust me. Matt Bear, give us good news. Come on, Matt. All right, Hammer. Well, we are stopped coming downtown southbound 65. Stop traffic from MLK to Meridian Pan. A little bit beyond that delay continues on eastbound 70 out to rural. On the east side, southbound 465. Stop and go from 70 to Arlington Avenue. Northbound lane, stop and go from 70 past Penn Pike. And eastbound 465 loaded up, barely moving from Westfield Boulevard to Allisonville Road. Eastbound 70 from the west side, stop and go before Tibbs Avenue to the south split westbound lanes to the air support also slow from the south split to harding street crash emerson avenue at 36 traffic sponsored by b window for a limited time with b window get 50 percent off all products in 20 months no interest or payments plus qualifying completed projects earn a 500 dollar gift card at sullivan hardware and garden details at bwindow.com i'm matt bear follow us for instant traffic updates at wibc traffic 72 at the american Standard Heating Weather Center here at 93 WIBC. We have got some tickets to give away. Aerosmith is coming January 16th, Gamebridge Fieldhouse. They say this is the final tour. The Peace Out Farewell Tour at the Black Crows. Caller number nine was Chuck. Chuck, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Good, man. You an Aerosmith guy? Oh, yeah. Good. You, you said they say it's their farewell tour like you don't believe them. Well, how many farewell tours has Kiss been on? How yeah, many but, farewell I mean, tours has Garth Brooks been on? Steven Tyler's 75 years old. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> but he's been yeah. doing it for a while. Like, he had a Vegas residency last year. True. We're supposed to believe all of a sudden he doesn't like money anymore? Come on. But take him for at their word. This is what's going to happen here, Chuck. We're going to play a game called Steven Tyler or He's an Outsider. <laughs> I'm going to give you a fact about someone. It will either be a fact about Aerosmith frontman Steven Tyler, or it will be a fact about somebody running for political office in Indiana this year because about 99.8% of the ads always say they're an outsider. <laughs> you get two out of three correct. We're going to give you the tickets, okay? Sounds good. Number one, Steven Tyler, or he's an outsider, appeared in an episode of The Simpsons where he played a show at Moe's Tavern. Steven Tyler. Steven Tyler. There we go. <laughs> Get this one right. We'll throw a party. We'll give you the tickets. Steven right. Tyler or he's an outsider. In a series of ads for his gubernatorial run, Brad Chambers calls himself <laughs> this. He's an outsider. Yeah! There we go. There we go. <laughs> Chuck, my man. Congratulations. You have got two tickets to go see Aerosmith. And the rules of engagement are simple. You won the tickets, so whoever you go with, they've got to drive while you have some beverages. That's the deal. That is a good deal. Right on. Chuck, yeah. stay on the line, and Allison will take care of you. Now, speaking of he's an outsider, if you remember, we did a uh, Hammer and Nigel campaign commercial about outsiders, and Nigel, oh. you were the subject of it. Was I? Yes, do you remember this uh, outsider I'm ad? Sure. Tired of the same old results? Tired of the status quo? If so, it's time for an outsider. Someone of the outside who has no idea of what the hell to do. <laughs> Nigel Laskowski <laughs> is that outsider. You don't want experience or a candidate with connections. You want an outsider. <laughs> Nigel has never been to any council meetings. Why? Because he's an outsider. <laughs> Experienced candidates will crunch numbers for a budget and work with other elected leaders. Not Nigel. He's an outsider. <laughs> Nigel plans to show up to work drunk and then spend most of his day on the toilet. True. Would an experienced candidate send out a text message of his crank with the caption reading, How's my polling? No, an outsider would. So this year, say goodbye to experience and qualifications. Say hello to a man so dumb that he thought grape nuts was an STD. <laughs> Nigel Laskowski. Fat. Drunk. Outsider.
I'm Donald Trump, and I approve this message. <laughs> He's an outsider. He doesn't know what the hell to do. He's never been there before. Hold on. Is that new, or is that an old bit? I, I don't remember. We did that a couple months ago. A couple months ago? On this show. Yes. You were here. Was I here, or was yes. I on vacation? You were here. I don't remember that. <laughs> Are you sure it was a couple months ago, not a couple years ago? I know. It's hell froze over. You were here, and we did it on the show. <laughs> And you don't remember that at all, do you? <laughs> so everything in the that campaign ad is correct. Drunk, stupid. He can't remember a damn thing. <laughs> Outsider. Uh, real quick, before we hit a break here. Wow. The update from our promotions department. 58 tickets are left. Just 58 for the Tales from the Track event presented by Relay Indiana. This is the big deal we're doing with Scott Dixon. Yeah. Race week, Monday, May 20th. We kick off race week with this awesome event. We've got dinner. We've got drinks sponsored by Hotel Tango. Uh, they're going to have their red, white, and bourbon there. Delicious. You can buy that now. It's an awesome, awesome bourbon. And some money goes to charity. And Scott Dixon's going to be there. We're going to be talking about all types of fun track stories May or may not bring up the Taco Bell robbery. I don't know. Oh, that's right. Wow. And Scott's wow. going to take pictures with everybody, sign autographs. This guy's one of the greatest IndyCar drivers in the history of the series. The 2008 Indy 500 winner, second all-time in wins in the series. So buy your tickets right now before they sell out. Go to the events page of WIBC.com, or we've got it pinned to the top of our Facebook and Twitter. Search for Hammer and Nigel. According to a 2023 Gallup poll, 71% of non-retired adults are worried about retirement saving. At Howard Bailey Financial, we don't believe retiring with confidence should be guesswork. In fact, our mission is to help you gain clarity and purpose and elevate meaning in your life through personal and practical financial strategies. That's why we provide our Retire With Purpose Toolkit at no cost. In it, you'll find valuable information on minimizing taxes, maximizing Social Security, and building a retirement income you won't outlive. To receive your complimentary toolkit, text CLARITY to 866-482-9559. Take a step toward a more confident retirement with Howard Bailey Financial and text CLARITY to 866-482-9559. This endorsement was not provided by a client of Howard Bailey. This individual was compensated for this endorsement. For more information, visit howardbailey.com slash TS1. My husband, Bob, has Parkinson's, and he needs more help now, and I need more support to help him. Thanks to Indiana Pathways for Aging, we're getting the support we need to help him right here at home, like with meal prep and basic personal care and even respite support for me. Pathways provides Hoosier Medicaid members, age 60 and over, support for care their way so they can live life their way. Eligible members can select a plan now. Call 87-PATHWAY-4 or visit in.gov slash pathways. Welcome to Tire Discounters. Oh, hiya, Phantom. Mike, you may be in big trouble with Chip Wood. Our owner? Free oil changes along with alignment? On any four-tire purchase. Michelin's up to 200 off? Yeah, sorry, Mike, but I'm telling. But the Wood family is behind all this. Oh, those rascals. But don't tell the accountants. Of course not. And what do they do again? Buy any set of four tires at Tire Discounters and get a free alignment and oil change. Make the Michelin's and save up to 200 more. Tire See store for details. Chapters of this story take a whole month to tell. This is May. It starts with twists and turns on the IMS road course for the Sancio Grand Prix. Then PPG presents Armed Forces Indy 500 qualifying in the fight for the pole position. May continues with Indy's biggest party, Miller Lite Car Day. And all roads lead to the 108th running of the Indianapolis 500 presented by Gainbridge. May is yours. May is ours. This is May. Buy now and save. Get tickets at IMS.com. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely free. Call 800-919-3200. That's 800-919-3200. 
800-919-3200. Hey, this is Spencer Thompson at Thompson Furniture and Mattress in Columbus. Now through Monday, it's our once-in-a-lifetime sale. You thought the eclipse was big? This sale is bigger. Every mattress by Indiana Made Sealy. All outdoor furniture by Berlin Gardens in Hollywood. Every sectional sofa recliner by Indiana Made Smith Brothers and Lazy Boy is on sale now through Monday. Low price guarantee only at Thompson Furniture Mattress in Columbus. At First Financial Bank, we have 4.5% APY on money market accounts and high rates on CDs. It's easy. Just stop into your local First Financial Bank to open your account, and we'll do the rest. What are you waiting for? Start growing your money today. APY equals annual percentage yield. $25,000 minimum deposit required for money market. Offer ends June 1, 2024. Terms and conditions apply. Visit bank at first.com for details. First. Coming up in two minutes, the Indiana DNR says they're still looking for a couple of missing kayakers. And Caitlin Clark finally in Indianapolis. That's coming up after Fox News Radio from the Technology Recycler Studios. You're listening to 93 WIBC, WIBC HD1 Indianapolis. This is a Fox News alert. An impeachment trial ends before it really begins. On Lisa Brady. Madam President, we've set a very unfortunate precedent here. Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell, after both articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, failed on party line votes that they were unconstitutional. This means that the Senate can ignore, in effect, the House's impeachment. It doesn't make any difference whether our friends on the other side thought he should have been impeached or not. He was. Today's action could give Democrats some cover in the border security debate by avoiding a vote to dismiss the charges against Mayorkas. There's a needle to be threaded there, and, and this is the, the kind of parliamentary you know cocktail that uh, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer came up with to say we're not going to vote to dismiss the trial. We're going to vote to rule that these articles of impeachment are unconstitutional. Fox's Chad Pergram on Capitol Hill. And Republicans are going to beat this horse all the way to November because the polling shows that the border and Mayorkas, that is a lightning rod issue with the electorate this fall. Republicans accuse Mayorkas of willfully failing to enforce immigration laws. A White House spokesperson accuses Republicans of wasting time on baseless political stunts instead of pursuing actual solutions. The Columbia University president tells lawmakers the school has has taken steps to address anti-Semitism. Jewish students say at Columbia they have faced anti-Semitic taunting and threats, calls for the destruction of Israel, and speaking invitations from some student groups to foreign terrorist organizations. They maintain the university has fallen well short of its duty to address all of this. Fox's Rich Edson on Capitol Hill while the president was testifying on the Hill. Pro-Palestinian protesters set up tents on campus calling for divestiture. America's listening to Fox News. 93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. They're still missing. 71 degrees, mostly cloudy in the circle. The radar's clear. Low of 51 tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox from Moss Roofing. Here's what's trending at 502. You may have heard of the two kayakers who went missing in the White River near 16th Street in Indianapolis Tuesday night. Rescue crews are still searching using side-scanning sonar. What that's doing is it's pretty much mapping the underneath the water surface part that we cannot see. Conservation officer Trevor Sager says the radar is showing something unusual on the river bed. The search will continue until dark. The Indiana Graduate Workers Coalition is striking because they want to be recognized as a union and get better pay. If they don't have their demands met by Friday. We have some, uh, we have some uh, plans in the work. Uh, we are hoping to announce those later this week. Uh, if the administration doesn't respond. David Garner, who's with the coalition, he says they've never been able to have a discussion with IU President Pamela Witten, despite several attempts to reach out to her. Whiteland police say a teenager was hit and killed while riding a motorcycle last night. They're now investigating, reports Sasha Nixon. Officers went near North US 31 and County Wood Drive around 9.30 p.m., where a truck and a motorcycle had crashed. 19-year-old Drew Schrader died at the scene. At this time, police think Schrader was driving a motorcycle up US-31 when a truck tried to get onto the road from County Wood Drive. The boy then hit the truck. Police think the truck driver may have been intoxicated at the time of the crash. Sasha Nixon, 93. 
WIBC Mobile News. The average price you're paying for a gallon of gas in Indiana today, $3.55, says GasBuddy.com. And Caitlin Clark, she's arrived in Indianapolis. John Havrick reports on her mindset now that she's a member of the Indiana Fever. At a Wednesday news conference, Clark was asked about how she was able to be a successful basketball player, even at a young age, growing up in Iowa. You know, AAU coaches I had growing up, whether it was high school coaches, whether it was my parents, whether it was my family, you know, they never told me I couldn't achieve something. Like, it was always like, if you want it, you can go get it. You just have to earn it. And I think that's like the biggest thing I would tell the younger generation. The Fever begins their regular season on May 14th. John Herrick, 93, WIBC Mobile News. You're one minute away from traffic and weather. It's 504. Get ready for storm season because you know as well as I do, storms in Indiana can be fierce and they can come out of nowhere. So don't wait for a leak to have your roof inspected. Have peace of mind about your roof being able to handle any storm. Moss Roofing, M-O-S-S, mossroofing.com provides free inspections and can spot potential issues before they turn into costly repairs. Whether you're looking for a siding replacement after a strong wind or a roof replacement after a hailstorm, Moss Roofing has options that fit any budget. Just ask Moss Roofing about their payment plans. No matter your situation, Moss Roofing has you covered with a job done right every shingle time. I love that. That's very funny. Contact Moss Roofing today. 317-747-3665. 317 317- 747-3665. Tell them Tony Katz sent you. Moss Roofing, 747-3665 or online at Moss. M-O-S-S. Mossroofing.com. With traffic in the fives at 505. What's going on, Matt Bear? Harrison, it is northbound 465. That's loaded 792865. Barely moving in part. Same with eastbound to 465. Westfield Boulevard to Allisonville. On the east side, northbound 465. Stop and go traffic. 70 up to 69. Southbound lane struggling. 70 down to Washington Street. Two downtown. Southbound 65. Stop and go traffic before MLK through the north split. On to 70 out to rural. The other direction, westbound 70 slow into the north split from rural and then stop and go traffic up to west eastbound 70 on the west side stop and go traffic from belmont to the south a split and a reminder fall creek parkway is closed at evanston and that's going on until april 30th for road construction traffic sponsored by grand appliance shop grand appliance for unbeatable prices fast delivery and expert installation on a huge selection of in-stock appliances learn more grandappliance.com or your local showroom i met bear follow us for instant traffic updates at wibc traffic and the forecast from the American Standard Cooling Weather Center. Looks like as we move towards Wednesday evening, skies will start clearing out, winds will start dying down, and temperatures will drop, but only to about 50 degrees overnight. As you move into Thursday, it will be partly cloudy with a high temperature around 80. I'm Winch TV Storm Track 8 meteorologist Drew Arsutis for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level, on the go, and on WIBC.com. Hammer and Nigel. Can you believe these characters are weirdos? So let's... Man, I hate this, but we got to bring attention to the story. This uh, student earlier this year, just a few weeks into the school year, seven-year-old IPS student told his mom that his teacher was allowing other students to physically abuse him in class. And now there's a lawsuit involved, Hammer. So this came out because the video finally was released. And basically... It was almost like the teacher was setting up some sort of fight club for these students in her IPS class. Now, the worst part about this, the part that breaks my heart, is that the mom, she was listening to the complaints from her son. Now, her son is seven years old and also is special needs. Mm. There's some disabilities going on here. And he was telling his mom what was happening in school. Mom, fired up, went to the school. Wanted answers, got nothing in return. I mean, silence, nothing. So now the student's family has filed a civil lawsuit against IPS. Well, where's criminal charges? What? <laughs> the teacher's allowing this to happen? It's on video? The lawsuit filed in the Marion Superior Court is about the seven-year-old boy's ordeal at George Washington Carver Montessori IPS School 87. And again, this boy has special needs with disabilities, including sensory issues, executive function disorder, learning disabilities, 
and this is all on tape, that the teacher was allowing like a fight club to take place knowing that this little boy could not defend well, himself. It sounds like the teacher needs to go to jail and this family needs compensation immediately. Kind of reminds me of what happened in Brownsburg where the oh, staff ever... there forced a special needs student to eat his own vomit. Well, and yes, and there were criminal charges filed. Right. So People we're going to talk jail. to Tony Kennett about this coming up here yeah. a little bit after 5.30. Uh, Tony Kennett, the host of the 7 p.m. program here, the Tony Kennett cast, he also is an investigative reporter at the Daily Signal. He has worked for IPS. He had a long, successful career as an educator before basically being a whistleblower talking about all the crap that was taking place in schools. I want to get his perspective on that story. That's coming up in just a little bit. So, Nige, where are we at with the story that Donald Trump at his, quote, hush money trial, when they're trying to find all the jurors, fell asleep not <laughs> once but twice? I think it's hilarious. I think, fine, it's going to be so boring. <laughs> and maybe he's putting on a show, who knows, but... This thing, whole thing is a sham designed to get him uh, off the campaign trail and in a courtroom. And it's also designed to advance the political careers of Fat Alvin sure. and Letitia James. Which might honest. work. Which might work. But it's not going to – I think it's going to backfire in terms of the support for the president. Uh, one of Donald Trump's attorneys, uh, Elena Haba, who's really hot – can I just point that oh, out? Well, I don't notice things like that. Uh-huh. She is an attractive woman. She spoke with Mar Martha McCallum of Fox News about the rumors that the old man fell asleep twice. In the Alina, election. I just have a second, but, you know, there's two reports both days of him falling asleep in, in court. Any reaction to that? Is he tired? Has he just been running around a lot? Or any thoughts on that? Uh, if anything, he's probably brutally bored. I mean, he, it's 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 painful. They make yeah. him sit there through jury selection. The first day was procedural, uh, but no, you know, I've heard that report. It's unlikely. I know him. I sat through trial after trial with him. That never happens. Oh, so, uh, President Trump is is incredibly focused. <laughs> so, for argument's sake here, just play along with me. All right. Let's say that the old man did fall asleep twice. I think this has to be intentional because this is Donald Trump showing that court the same amount of respect that yeah, they're showing him. Exactly. It's a little theater here. It's kind of like that scene in Animal House where the guys at the Delta House, they knew no matter what they did, the administration was going to kick him out, so they might as well <laughs> throw a toga party. I got news for you, pal. They're going to nail us no matter what we do. So we might as well have a good time. Toga. There's Trump. Yeah. Do Haba, do Roger Stone, do they're all in the courtroom. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. They're going to go after him and bust his backside no matter what they do, so you might as well embarrass them and have a good time. If you are looking for a reason to drink tonight, Nige. Oh, fine. <laughs> Looks like we may have already started over there. Yeah. Today... Would have been the 70th birthday, 70, 70th birthday of wrestling legend Rowdy Roddy Piper. Now, I remember as a kid growing up in the 80s, this was a dude that was ahead of his time. Because if you like the professional wrestling of like the 2000s and today, none of that's possible without Hot Rod, because he was the first one to get on the microphone and start insulting people and trash-talking people. Had the kilt. Had the kilt on. Right. Uh, was a part of the first WrestleMania. He was a big deal. He embraced being the bad guy. And there was a movie, horrible movie, called They Live. No, it wasn't horrible. Oh, come on. He was awesome in it, but the movie was horrible. But if anything, we got this awesome line. I have come here to chew bubblegum yeah. and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. <laughs> and I'm all out of bubblegum. Classic. Gum. Classic. Um, so we're trying to clean out the house at home, right? So we had a short little window. We, we moved from one house right. into Crystal's mother's house. She passed away 
We inherited the house, so we're moving stuff into it. We got all of our stuff in. Now we're in the process of taking all the old stuff that was there out. You can donate it? We're going to donate some of it, yeah. Some of the clothes, you know, that was down there between her father-in-law and her mom. A little trip to Goodwill may be in order. Mm, I don't know if Goodwill wants your stuff. They don't want my stuff. Really? Yeah. What do you mean? It's usually just like old cobweb mothball clothes and random pieces of shelving and stuff that I dump off there, and I usually feel bad about it. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, but maybe they can clean it up and somebody might find some use of it somehow. I don't know. But with springtime here, I know I can't be the only one that's uh, trying to declutter a little bit, some spring cleaning in the yeah, homestead. Yeah, yeah. And the fine folks at Goodwill, they're happy to take your stuff, okay. but they also have this public service announcement. <laughs> Hey folks, it's Lou Taylor from your local Goodwill. I know April means spring cleaning, so I want to remind you all the stuff you no longer want around your house. Yeah, we don't want it either. We should <laughs> see you. what people bring us. Used batteries, my best friend's wedding on DVD, a single shoe. The other day we got a rusty harmonica, which let me play the blues as I sorted through ice trays. Oh, and thanks to whoever donated the half-empty lighter. They let me set everything else you left us on fire. <laughs> For the last time, people, it's a donation bin, not a dumpster. <laughs> Told you. Hey, I don't think beggars can be choosers. That's all I'm saying. All right, Matt Bear, what's going on? Northbound, 465 on the east side. Stop and go 70 m 2 and everything coming into downtown stop and go traffic like southbound 65 before mlk to meridian penn northbound 65 stop and go from the north split up to 21st and eastbound 70 long line running from tibbs into the south split if you're heading to the airport from downtown westbound 70 slows from the south split past west street south side pockets a slow eastbound 465 from 70 over to 31 and a crash on the east side emerson avenue at 36 reminder fall creek parkway closed at Evanston Avenue for Nickel Plate Trail construction that's going on until April 30th. Traffic sponsored by Mr. Quick Home Services springs here, so it's the perfect time to get your HVAC in top shape with Mr. Quick's $49 preseason tune-up. Get ahead of the heat and enjoy comfort all summer. Visit to MrQuickHomeServices.com and get your tune-up today. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. 72 at the American Standard Heating Weather Center. Coming up here in just a few minutes, Tony Kennett of the Tony Kennett cast. Again, I want to get his thoughts on this gross, disappointing story from IPS where a special needs kid was basically put into a fight club situation from the teacher. We'll get his thoughts on that. But coming up next, get ready for some fun, kids. A spirited round of Are You Okay With This? That's coming up next on the Hammer and Nigel Show. Now if you're heading on home or you're taking a getaway Well, there's so much to see at the crossroads of the USA No matter where you're headed, it's nice to know Hubler's got you covered for 100,000 miles Plus, every Hubler Q certified vehicle is covered by a 128 point vehicle inspection and a free Carfax history report Shop any of Hubler's 12 locations and choose from over 2,000 vehicles Chevy Fords, GMCs, Buicks, Nissans, Acuras, Mazdas, Hondas, and many more. All makes, all models, certified vehicles, luxury vehicles, even the hard-to-find ones. Because Hubler, Hubler's got you covered. No matter where you're headed, it's nice to know Hubler's got you covered. So what drives Indiana? DriveHubler.com. Cover me! Warranty on select models less than nine years old. Um, Congresswoman Sparks will be ready for your interview soon. It seems pretty intense in there. Yeah, kind of crazy. Maybe I'll take some time before the interview to Google Victoria Sparks and learn a little more about her. Uh, whoa, have you seen this article? One aide calling the lawmaker's workplace behavior manic? 
Victoria Sparts was number one on Legistorm's list of worst bosses based on high turnover rates. Says she, quote, avoided firing aides and instead bullied them until they left. And the story is based on interviews with half a dozen former staffers. Yikes. Sparts called staff morons and idiots. Hey, get this. Victoria Sparts says her working style is, quote, not for everyone. Well, it's not for me. I think I'll pass on this interview. I'm Chuck Goodrich. I'm running for Congress, and I approve this message. Paid for by Go With Chuck Goodrich Committee. Get the deal that can't be beat. The friendliest folks you'll ever meet. <laughs> it rhymed. Andy Moore Ford in Plainfield. AndyMooreFord.com. With their Get More Guarantee, you'll get more savings, more selection, and more for your trade. Get more out of your next service appointment at Andy Moore Ford. With Ford Pickup and Delivery, they'll come to you. Andy Moore Ford will pick up your vehicle, service it, and return it to your home or office. Come see for yourself why people choose Andy Moore Ford for their new car, for their new truck, for their new electric vehicle. And it's the birthday of the Ford Mustang. I'm driving the Mustang GT right now. You are going to love it. Check out everything on the lot or find everything online. Andy Moore Ford in Plainfield, right there at 2713 East Main Street in Plainfield. Your best deal on a new car or truck is waiting for you. Andy Moore Ford, M O H R. I love Andy. AndyMooreFord.com. Waiting on a tax return? Hopefully it ends up in your hands. Fraudulent tax returns due to identity theft increased by 30% in 2023. If you're in a bind this tax season, LifeLock can help. Our U.S. based restoration specialists are experts dedicated to helping solve your identity theft issues. And all LifeLock plans are backed by the Million Dollar Protection Package. So we'll reimburse you up to the limits of your plan if you lose money due to identity theft. Help protect your information this tax season with LifeLock. Save up to 25% your first year with promo code NEWS at LifeLock.com. Say hello to the power, performance, and precision of Ram trucks at Kahlo and Noblesville. The strength and style of Ram combined with the experience and service you'll only find at Kahlo. Right now, save up to 15% off MSRP on select in-stock 2024 Ram 1500 Tradesman 4x4 models. See the massive inventory of Ram trucks at hellocalo.com or visit the new showroom on State Road 37 in Noblesville. All rebates and incentives included in final discount. Stock number KCN 240157. Price excludes tax, title, and fees. Not all buyers will qualify. See dealer for details. Offer ends 43024. Now offering 50% off all products plus 20 months, no interest, no payments. Call now or go to bwindow.com. Trust me. Everyone knows that soaking in Epsom salts can make you feel better. Now imagine soaking in Epsom salts in a royal spa hot tub. Ah, royal spa. This hour on 93 WIBC, powered by Damon's Lawn and Garden on West Rockville Road. Are you really okay with me? Are you okay? Everything's gonna be okay. Are you okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm pretty f***ing far from okay. Are you okay with this? On the Hammer and Nigel. Oh, yeah! My name is Nigel. That's Jason Hammer right over there during last week's Jimmy Buffett tribute concert at the Hollywood Bowl. Actor Harrison Ford told the crowd how Jimmy inspired him to make a major change in his look. Check this out. Jimmy Buffett was a cool guy. I remember one day, some might say boozy lunch with Jimmy and Ed Bradley. It was Bradley's birthday. I saw both of them had earrings. <laughs> so right after lunch, I got my ear pierced. <laughs> That's just how infectious Jimmy's coolness. He was 55 when that happened, when he decided to go with the earring. Harrison Ford being inspired by Jimmy Buffett to get an earring. Are you okay with this hammer? No, because I think there's a cutoff for being a dude <laughs> and doing things like that. And 55 is well past the cutoff. Like, I had to tell Rob Kendall this. I almost had to have an intervention with our midday host, Rob Kendall. 
You're too old to wear your hat backwards anymore. You're somebody's dad now. You're married. You've had hair <laughs> transplant surgery. You're too old to be wearing your hat backwards. There's a cutoff. Just like going to Broad Ripple. Listen, I hope all the Broad Ripple folks, bar owners, make as much money as they can. Yeah. But there's a cutoff age, right? Like, old dudes yeah. like us, Nigel, don't belong in Broad Ripple anymore. It's a young man's game. Why was Harrison Ford talking like that? I don't know. Is that cool or is that creepy? Like, is it's that not cool? Okay, but he is old. I mean, he's in his seventies, isn't he? Maybe eighty. And listen, Harrison Ford. You know, when he was Han Solo, pretty cool. Harrison Ford is Indiana Jones. All right, pretty cool. Yeah. But up there on the stage, sounding like death, wearing an earring, <laughs> trying to justify it, not cool. Well, a couple accidentally got divorced. It was an accident. After the lawyer clicked the wrong button using an online portal. <laughs> Are you okay with this? <laughs> no, not okay with this at all. So imagine Whoops. you finally, you know, got it. You made the commitment. You found the love of your life. You bought a ring. You had the ceremony. The paperwork is almost final. And the guy hits the wrong button <laughs> and makes you divorced. <laughs> so th I guess the question I have is, if they were divorced, does he get a hall pass? Does he get to go out and do God knows what? Does she get a hall pass? Does she get to go out and do God knows what? And all is forgiven? What kind of? And also, what kind of computer software are they using where it's, you know, does, did the button say divorce? And he just accidentally clicked that button? Yes, <laughs> yeah, no. They're right. side by side and he fat fingered it. <laughs> You're right. I don't know what the divorce marriage software looks like. I really did not know that this was a thing, but apparently it is, and you can yeah. fat finger that bad boy like a mother. Yeah, and no, no to the hall pass question. I don't think that accounts. All right. Come on, honey, no. we were divorced. <laughs> uh, country music singer Sam Hunt talks about one of his quote-unquote, controversial rules in his relationship that he never sleeps on the couch. Here he is explaining what that's all about. One beautiful thing about Hannah is that she forgives quickly, and I also have a rule that I'm not sleeping on the couch. <laughs> so <laughs> She's going to have to shoot me before I don't sleep in my own bed. <laughs> Jeez, are you okay with Sam Hunt's philosophy there in that marriage? No, I don't think I am. Sometimes, Sam, you make mistakes, like, like when you got popped for that Dewey. Oops. And I know you may have this policy of I don't sleep on the couch, but <laughs> I think if Mrs. Hunt uh, really wanted to lay her foot down that night, no, you're sleeping your drunk ass out on the couch, and I don't care what you think. Have you ever been sent to the couch before? I've passed out on the couch. <laughs> I've never been sent to the couch. Yeah, I, I think... If there has been an argument in the relationship between me and my wife, she'll usually just, she has gone to like sleep with one of the kids, like in, the, in their beds. She won't sleep in the room. And I'll wake up in the middle of the night and be like, oh boy, I'm going to get it tomorrow. <laughs> she didn't, she, she slept in the other room after the argument. And after how her, would her response be if you went and pulled a Sam Hunt and said, we've got a policy where you're not allowed to leave. <laughs> No, you stay right here. You sleep, you fall asleep angry right next to me, okay? <laughs> you grind your teeth, you swear in your sleep, but that's the way we do things in this house. Pamela Anderson has joined the cast of the Naked Gun remake. Awesome. Are you okay with this? Yes. Listen, I'm actually excited for the Naked Gun remake. Do I think it's going to be better than the original? I don't. But I bet I get some enjoyment out of it. Now, for those who don't remember what the Naked Gun was, this was the film where Leslie Nielsen played like the bumbling police chief. It was based off the old TV series Police Squad, yep. and they made a series of movies where Leslie Nielsen's character, Frank Drebin, was this bumbling police chief and he had to he was a lieutenant yeah, yeah solve all these problems oj simpson was in the naked gun movies and uh the new casting liam neeson is going to be taking the role of frank drebin and this is why i'm somewhat excited for it because he's best known for being like a hard ass i will find you and i will kill you 
but he's got a really good sense of humor. Oh. He does a lot of stuff with Seth MacFarlane. Like, he p- appeared oh. in the Ted movie. About He was this psycho that wanted to make sure tricks just weren't for kids. And Seth MacFarlane, by the way, one of the producers on the Naked Gun remake. Now, none of the original writers or directors are involved with it. No. Uh, Seth MacFarlane's involved with this thing. Uh, Pamela Anderson, from what I understand, is taking on the love interest role. That was played by Priscilla Presley right, yeah. back in the day in the old movies. They still hold up. I'll watch oh, yeah, The Naked please. Gun now if it pops up on HBO or something, and I'll still laugh. And Nordberg. Right. Of O.J. Right. Simpson. Yeah. Which, by the way, our guest coming up here in a few minutes, Tony Kennett, has been blocked by Nordberg, <laughs> blocked by O.J. Simpson on Twitter. W- what? we got to ask him about that. Oh, we totally okay. will. We're going to talk to him about that. But since we're talking about the Naked Gun and the remake, this is my favorite part of the Naked Gun, the baseball movie scene with all of the announcers yeah. and the car and the tiger <laughs> and Reggie Jackson and here to perform the national anthem, Enrico Palazzo. <laughs> Because the bit was this, you know, iconic opera singer Enrico Palazzo yeah. was supposed to sing the anthem, but Frank Drebin stole his outfit, you know, to stake out the baseball game. Right. And then after he saves the day, after he defeats Reggie Jackson and <laughs> saves the day, he takes off the mask, and this was the crowd reaction. That's not the umpire, Your Honor. Hey, it's Enrico Palazzo. <laughs> You want to go home and watch it right now. Oh, I love it. I love it. So, yes, I am okay with a remake of The Naked Gun with Liam Neeson. All right. All right. Tony Kennett at The Tonus on Twitter. He's the host of the Tony Kennett cast. He is a reporter for the Daily Signal. He has got some information for us in regards to IPS schools and a new lawsuit. We're going to get into all of that right after we take a look at the news. 93 WIPC Mobile News. On the level. On the go. They haven't been found yet. Mostly sunny. 71 degrees on your radar. Radar is clear. Uh, 71 degrees downtown with your radar being clear. Low of 50 tonight. I'm Harrison Silcox. Here's what's trending at 530. The White River's slightly unstable, which is making the search for two missing kayakers in Indianapolis. That much tougher, says Conservation Officer Trevor Sager. The search area is quite large. It's extending down at least five, 600 yards at this time. As you can see on the water surface, I mean, it's... It's pretty turbulent. The water levels are up as well. Rescue crews have spotted things on radar that are not regular to the river. Divers are being sent down. The Indiana Graduate Workers Coalition is on strike because they want to be recognized as a union and get better pay. They don't have their demands met by Friday. We have some, uh, we have some uh, plans in the work. Uh, we are hoping to announce those later this week uh, if the administration doesn't respond. David Garner's with the coalition. He says they have never been able to have a discussion with Indiana University President Pamela Witten, despite several attempts to get a hold of her. Two articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas have failed in a Senate vote. On this vote, the yeas are 51, the nays are 49. The point of order is well taken. Article Article 2 falls. House Republicans want him impeached for poor work securing the southern border. President Biden is threatening to triple tariff rates on Chinese steel. Fox's Jared Halpern reports. Chinese steel and aluminum producers are unfairly flooding the global market, President Biden says, undercutting American steelmakers. And the prices are unfairly low because China steel companies don't need to worry about making a profit because the Chinese government has subsidized them so heavily. They're not competing. They're cheating. The president says if unfair trade practices continue, he'll call on the U.S. trade representative to triple import tariffs on Chinese steel and aluminum. Speaking at the U.S. Steelworkers headquarters in Pittsburgh, President Biden also pledged to block Japan's Nippon Steel from acquiring U.S. Steel, an iconic American company, the president says, that must remain totally American. In Washington, Jared Halpern, Fox News. And the average price you're paying for a gallon of gas in Indiana today, $3.55, says GasBuddy.com. 
And with traffic at 532, here's Matt Bear. All right, Harrison, looking at eastbound 465, barely moving before Westfield Boulevard over to Allisonville Road. And coming into downtown southbound 65, stop and go White River to Meridian Penn. Eastbound 70 from the west side, stop and go traffic from Tibbs Avenue into the south split. You trying to exit to Washington Street, you can. It's going to be slow. Westbound 70 out of downtown, slows on the west side from the south split out to West Street and a little bit beyond that. Now we have a crash on the southwest side. This is southbound 465 Kentucky Avenue, blocking the left lane, stopping traffic back to Sam Jones Expressway. Traffic sponsored by B Window for a limited time with B Window. Get 50% off all products in 20 months, no interest or payments, plus qualifying completed projects or a $500 gift card to Sullivan Hardware and Garden Details at bwindow.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. And the forecast from the American Standard Cooling Weather Center. Looks like as we move towards Wednesday evening, skies will start clearing out, winds will start dying down, and temperatures will drop, but only to about 50 degrees overnight. As you move into Thursday, we'll be partly cloudy with a high temperature around 80. I'm Winch TV Storm Track 8 meteorologist Drew Sudis for 93 WIBC. I'm Harrison Silcox on the level on the go and on WIBC.com. The Hammer and Nigel Show. My name is Nigel. That's Jason Hammer over there with a special guest on the hotline. He is the host of the Tony Kennett cast every Monday through Friday, right after our show. His show starts at 7 o'clock. He's also an investigative reporter for the Daily Signal. Tony Kennett joins us. Tony, it's no uh, big secret here. You talk about your past of being an educator in the IPS school system. You've brought that up multiple times on the air. IPS is facing a lawsuit right now, Tony, and... Just, I guess, weeks into the school year this year, some teacher was basically having like a fight club with seven-year-olds. What? It was being recorded. You know, these kids were having the hell beat out of them. You know, moms were complaining. Dads were complaining. School didn't do anything. Well, now the video's out there and lawsuits are being filed. Walk me through this. So I remember a couple of years ago that I came on the air and for the very first time on Hammer and Nigel in front of the state of Indiana, I said, Indianapolis public schools are incredibly violent. And I gave you examples. And I said, at Arsenal Tech, there are so many fights that they have to take down fight Instagram pages for Arsenal weekly. I said they had to lock the doors at George Washington High School because students were going into bathrooms during class and beating each other half to death. And I said the elementary schools are just as bad. And that's what happened here because, like you guys said, first of all, don't host a fight club with seven-year-olds. They can't keep a secret. And as you guys know, don't talk about fight club kind of whole thing. It's like the first rule. Right. Yeah, very basic stuff, almost elementary, you might say. But in all seriousness, this is disgusting. To me, this is every bit as disgusting as the – uh, Brownsburg incident with the forcing the student to eat the vomit. This is a horrible, horrible situation. But again, IPS is always focused on this racial equity stuff, which includes restorative justice, in which you don't kick out violent students. You don't suspend violent students. You keep them in there. Otherwise, you're depriving them of the opportunity to learn. And uh, you end up getting really horrible situations like this. So this lawsuit that was filed in the Marion County Superior Court, it involves a seven-year-old boy in his ordeal at George Washington Carver uh, Montessori IPS School 87. Now, this boy also has special needs, uh, disabilities, Mm. sensory issues, and he's at the centerpiece of this, Tony. Yeah, and again, this is at a Montessori school. Now, those of you that listen to the radio, uh, various radio stations around the state, and watch TV will know that IPS has been running advertisements for their Montessori schools over the last couple of months. That's right, folks. If you live in Marion County, IPS has been spending your tax dollars on advertisements to the schools where kids are beating the living crap out of each other at teachers' encouragement, according to this lawsuit. And the thing that's really upsetting here is it sounds like the parents uh, and the family of this child, they've been complaining to the school for a while. They've been demanding answers, and they were basically given the Heisman Trophy stiff arm, (laughs) and now, now it's going to court. Come on. Superintendent Alicia Johnson doesn't care about children. She just doesn't. She's a horrible woman. 
The entire equity staff at that school is horrible. There are a, a couple of great teachers at the district. There are some decent ancillary staff. And then the maintenance and uh, facility staff at IPS are top notch. But a lot of the teachers and administrators at that school are bottom feeder filth who take advantage of kids for social reasons. And now here we go. Here's yet another example. Here's us ringing the bell again. IPS is a horrible school district fueled by people who want to play politics instead of actually improving the lives of kids who need it the most. And this victim is yet another example of something we shouldn't even have to be reporting on. Tony, any update? You mentioned Brownsburg and the incident there that happened with the special needs student. And, I mean, there were arrests in that incident being forced to eat his vomit and how forthcoming and transparent the school has been. Any updates on on what's going on in Brownsburg or is there anything going on right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you guys hear the statement from uh, State Superintendent Jenner from the Department of Education about their investigation into the district? No. Oh, neither did I. That's because the Department of Education in Indiana does nothing. (laughs) Um, They have no leadership ability at all. Um, Whenever there's an incident like this, there's never an investigation of the administration as to how this was allowed to happen or how this was kept silent. No one ever investigates like the superintendent or the administration from the state. The only person who actually seems to care about holding schools accountable is Attorney General Todd Rakita, and that's not even his office. So as far as Brownsburg, you're not going to see true accountability until we actually have a state superintendent who, I don't know, does their job. Since we're on the subject of school districts being sued, you've got an article at Daily Signal about this school in Berkeley. They're getting sued for pro-Hamas propaganda. So I want the listeners out there right now to picture the hippie guy who's teaching you how to do, like, canoe rapids in Nashville. Can you picture him? (laughs) Dirty, like, blonde ponytail. Sure. um, Looks like he backpacked without showering for eight and a half years. So that's what this guy at Berkeley looks like. His name is Alex Day. And he, in November, like less than a month after the Hamas rape and murder of over 1,200 people in Israel, he gets up in front of the school board at Berkeley. You can tell where this is going. Okay, wait a minute. I'm just, sort of, I'm just going to be clear. This is not college we're talking about. This is junior high, high school level. Correct. Right? Yeah, this is the Berkeley <laughs> Unified School District, okay. uh, K through 12 in Berkeley. Thanks for clarifying. Yeah, thank you. So he gets up in front of the school board meeting and says, as a ninth grade social studies teacher, you guys aren't going to censor me from teaching about colonialism. And then he teaches an entire lesson series, and he mentions Hamas once, and then basically teaches students to do this weird group think on how the Jews are actually bad because the Jews colonized the land, and Netanyahu is terrible, and he has all of these quotes and pictures from Democrat squad members, some really anti-Semitic stuff as well. And when parents asked for, you know, give us the slides from this lesson, the school obfuscated and omitted information and tried to hide it from parents for months, which is illegal. As a public school, you can't do that. So now they're getting sued. I kind of thought I'm confused because I was told this kind of thing doesn't happen in the in the high schools and the junior highs. And they're very transparent. It's Republican talking points. Yeah. Yeah, remember when, like, you know, CRT wasn't happening until it was, and we had, you know, administrators who were revealed on video in Indiana, among other states, admitting that they taught it. And then it was, well, the trans stuff isn't in schools. And then we had people that were admitting to it and public documents that were released, like in Pendleton, Indiana. And now it's the Hamas thing, and there's documents (sighs) being revealed. So at this point, I mean, just take Republicans' word for it, which who, is a wild thing to say. Who is suing the school district? Uh, there is an organization called the Deborah Project that handles a lot of cases regarding religious liberty and anti-Semitism out west. And uh, they're out for blood, and they should be because this is disgusting. Tony Kennett joining us. His program coming up tonight, 7 o'clock, the Tony Kennett cast here at 93 WIBC. Tony, I've made it perfectly clear that when O.J. Simpson died, I was happy. The fact that that scumbag is not breathing our oxygen anymore brings joy to my cold, dark heart. (laughs) And as much as I uh, despise the man that used to be known as the Juice, I never got blocked on Twitter by O.J. (laughs) You did. That is true. He he did not like me. Um, I because I I felt the same way that you did. Um, because I had a, a time when I was in college where I looked through a lot of old course and uh, court case data regarding his situation, and I was just sickened by everything that he was and stood for. 
And uh, he, he t- t- did like a little speaking something in the Midwest near where I was, and I had watched the, the speech from that event. And I just decided I'd make fun of him on Twitter because, you know, I was bored. And so I did, and <laughs> the comments that I made started to get some traction because I was, you know, making fun of him for being a disgusting murderer of innocent people. And he blocked me because uh, he couldn't handle the heat. And so now he's handling a different kind of heat. Oh, and, there uh, it is. I That's what I was looking for. Set it up and knock it down. That's what I'm looking for. Hey, real quick before we let you go, uh, again, Tony Kennett with us. What do you think about this whistleblower from NPR that has now been suspended for basically telling the world what we already knew, that even though they get our taxpayer money, they're as biased, as left-leaning, as humanly possible. So, actually, he just resigned, saw this that, guy yeah. named Yuri. And uh, as, as he resigned, again, he pointed out, look, he's like, I am very, very, very liberal. He makes a point in his article to say, I drive like the Subaru Outback and all of the <laughs> other stereotypes. And he's like, if I, the liberal, am telling you, that we have lied to the American public for the last couple of decades, it's true. And, you know, Chris Rufo, who's a good friend of mine, has been going on on Twitter about the new CEO who is insane. And, I mean, there's no reason this organization should be receiving money of any federal kind from the public whatsoever. And that's the thing, right? We expect the media at a national level to probably have a slant to it or lie to us at the bare bare minimum. We kind of expect that at this point. Yeah, but the, the station manager at Nextar, he's a liberal. That's fine. <laughs> Fox 59, he's a big lib. That's cool. He wants to be totally fine. But my taxpayer dollars right. better not go to his salary. Run it like a business. If you want to do it that way, just run it like a business like everybody else. Absolutely. And again, you want to be a liberal? I'm a conservative journalist. I do not expect you as a liberal, independent, or conservative to pay my salary. If my work is good, then I will be paid. But the federal government shouldn't be paying my salary. That's ridiculous. Well, we could also probably have this conversation about <laughs> Planned Parenthood, but we'll do that at another time. <laughs> what is coming up on the Tony Kennett cast tonight? Well, I'm going to be in Boone County moderating a candidate event. And then on the show tonight, uh, we're going to be talking about Donald Trump's case. So we're going to dig into the gritty details about uh, Stormy Daniels' hush money case and the great New York judge of justice and, uh, well, you know, whoever's paying him off. Can I just say something real quick, just real quick? Whenever I hear people say hush money, and I'm guilty of it, it's not hush money. She signed a legal document, an NDA, and she chose to break it. Donald Trump should be suing her. You're stealing my thunder for the story, Nigel. Come on, man. (laughs) (laughs) I scooped you. All right, man. Looking forward to the big show tonight. Thanks, guys. That's Tony Kennett on Twitter at the Tonus. This is the Hammer and Nigel Show. Diamonds Direct over there at Keystone at the Crossing. It's where I bought all my jewelry as gifts for my wife. She loves that place. And I just want to make sure everybody knows about the spring sale going on right now at Diamonds Direct. All diamond jewelry, all engagement rings, all colored gemstones and pearl jewelry are 20% off. But, look, it's not going to last forever. You've got to hurry. This sale at Diamonds Direct ends Sunday. Nearly everything in the store, 20% off. Whether you're treating yourself or someone special, now is the time. Everything is 20% off. Everything from earrings to bracelets, pendants, even engagement rings and wedding bands, 20% off through Sunday only. So head over to Diamonds Direct, Keystone at the Crossing by the Green Bridge, or go to DiamondsDirect.com. Diamonds Direct, 20% off now through Sunday. Tell them Hammer and Nigel sent you. Hey guys, it's Rob from my friends at Universal Windows Direct, and man, they just have an incredible deal going on right now. You can't beat it. Call Universal Windows Direct today at 317-659-7574, and for every two windows you buy, get the next two free. Buy two, get two. Buy four, get four. Buy 20, get 20. There's no limit. Plus, they'll upgrade your new windows to triple-pane glass for free. That means extra protection from the elements, 
a consistent temperature in your home, increased energy efficiency, and reduced heating and cooling costs, plus a quieter and more comfortable home. And in addition to these incredible windows, they're giving you such a great price. Universal Windows Direct right now when you call 317-659-7574, 317-659-7574 to schedule your free in-home estimate today. Buy two, you get two free. Plus, yes, there's more. If you mention my name, Rob Kendall, you get $250 off your project. Universal Windows Direct, tell them Rob sent you. A broken border, corrupt politicians, and the rise of communist China. We don't need leaders who will surrender. We need America First conservative Mike Speedy. Mike Speedy endorses President Trump and will join him to fix our border once and for all. Mike Speedy will fight the woke leftists to guarantee life and liberty. Speedy has a track record of fighting and winning. Mike Speedy is the only candidate in the GOP primary with both an a rating from the NRA and the endorsement of Indiana Right to Life. Speedy is the conservative who beat the abortion lobby, voting to make Indiana pro-life in the post-Roe v. Wade era. Mike Speedy also voted to ban sanctuary cities and voted to guarantee our right to constitutional carry. Mike Speedy, America first conservative for Congress. Vote Republican Mike Speedy in Indiana's 6th Congressional on or before May 7th. I'm Mike Speedy. I'm running for Congress. Can I approve this message? Paid for by Mike Speedy for Congress. That moment when you realize you've got a plumbing problem, a real pipe-bursting, clogged-up tight, somebody-get-all-the-towels, full-on flush fiasco, but fear not, there's an expert for that. Trust your local plumbing experts at Broad Ripple Service Experts and save $50 off any plumbing repair. Plumbing problemos? There's an expert for that. Call Broad Ripple Service Experts at 866-EXPERTS. See website for license details. Spring's here, so it's the perfect time to get your HVAC in top shape with Mr. Quick's $49 preseason tune-up. Get ahead of the heat and enjoy comfort all summer. Visit MrQuickHomeServices.com and get your tune-up today. Dammons Garden Center has endless varieties of trees, shrubs, vegetables, flowers, hanging baskets, plus garden and landscape supplies, and a friendly, helpful staff at Dammons on West Rockville Road. Matt Bear, he's standing by with a look at the roads. All right, Hammer Southwest aside, southbound 465 at Kentucky Avenue. The left lane is closed because of a multiple car crash. We've been told maybe up to six cars involved. This is closed the left lane. This is stop traffic back to Sam Jones Expressway. Delay time is right now 10 minutes. Eastbound 70 from the west side to downtown. Stop and go traffic. Holt Road to Meridian, Illinois. Southbound 65 stop and go from the White River to Meridian Penn. And Northbound 65 slow out of downtown for the north split up to 21st. Traffic sponsored by B Window for a limited time with B Window. Get 50% off all products in 20 months. No interest, no payments, plus qualifying completed projects or a $500 gift card at Sullivan Hardware and Garden. Details at bwindow.com. I'm Matt Bear. Follow us for instant traffic updates at WIBC Traffic. 72 at the American Standard Cooling Weather Center at 93 WIBC. Coming up after 6 o'clock, more of the Hammer and Nigel show. The Department of Justice and IMPD trying to figure out why there are so many IMPD-involved shootings. I would probably say because there's more bad guys shooting at the IMPD. Well, I think you just saved a lot of people a lot of time and money, (laughs) Nigel. A man in Memphis was arrested, listen to this, after police say he attempted to rob a gas station with... A snake. <laughs> <laughs> so let me ask you this. Let's say you're the clerk at the Speedway, the Shell, whatever the gas station is. One guy comes in with a gun, traditional armed robbery. Yes. The other guy comes in with a live snake, which freaks you out Man, more. I, well, the gun would always freak me out, obviously, but it depends on what kind of snake. You come in with like a little gardener snake. <laughs> no. Uh, but if you come in with like a venomous, you know, diamond back uh Whatever you call it, <laughs> the kinds of snakes you saw in Indiana Jones in that pit. Right. Somebody you comes know, in there with like a cobra. Like a, like a cobra or a rattler. I think I'm more scared of the rattler. 
Great moments in snake history. Right. Remember when Jake the Snake Roberts, the iconic wrestler, yes. came into studio with us? Joining us live in studio, quite possibly one of the most well-known pro wrestlers ever to step in the ring, Jake the Snake Roberts. Snake, what's up, man? I appreciate it, man, except for that BS song you guys played. <laughs> that's your wait, that's it's your a interview. horrible nightmare, man. Are you kidding? <laughs> yeah, I mean, so at some point you did get tired of the Oh, you, uh, get, the you get so old, man. It really does. I mean, 35, 40 years, yeah, it starts to wear on you. Man, there's not too many people that can look at Charlie Sheen and go, you haven't lived. Oh, really? But you yeah, can. You, you got that right, you got that right. So, and I survived. I want to do a little fact or fiction yeah. here. Some stories that I've heard about okay. you. You tell me if this is legit or not. Okay. You started doing cocaine when you were 12 years old. Oh. False. False. Okay. Yeah. I saw that online. I was 10. No. <laughs> <laughs> Forgot about Jake the Snake. That was incredible. Dude, the stories that that guy has, like... To say that he's done some living yeah. is an understatement. Great moments in snake history. <laughs> All right, do not go anywhere. We've got another hour to go. This is the Hammer and Nigel Show. Now if you're heading on home or you're taking a getaway, well, there's so much to see at the crossroads of the USA. No matter where you're headed, it's nice to know Hubler's got you covered for 100,000 miles. Plus, every Hubler Q certified vehicle is covered by a 128 point vehicle inspection and a free Carfax history report. Shop any of Hubler's 12 locations and choose from over 2,000 vehicles Chevys, Fords, GMCs, Buicks, Nissans, Acuras, Mazdas, Hondas, and many more. All makes, all models, certified vehicles, luxury vehicles, even the hard to find ones. Cause Hubler, Hubler's got you covered. No matter where you're headed, it's nice to know Hubler's got you covered. So what drives Indiana? DriveHubler.com. Cover me! Warranty on select models less than nine years old. How would you like to get a 13% bonus when you invest your money? Not only do you get a 13% bonus, but you'll also get an annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. Hey, it's Hammer and Nigel. Discover how you can get an upfront 13% bonus plus a competitive annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. Learn more from the retirement guy that we trust, Bill Demery here in Indy. Call him today, 317 648 5120. This was such a no brainer for me. Why wouldn't you do this? You get an upfront 13% bonus plus a competitive annual return that's averaged 7% a year for the past 10 years. And it's backed by one of the largest insurance companies in the world. Bill Demery, 317-648-5120. That's 648-5120. Past performance is no guarantee of future returns. JMV here from SM's Home and Garden in Bargersville. This week is the official grand opening of Miss M's today through Sunday. Miss M's will have giveaways and it's 20% off in the nursery. You got to see Miss M's display of tropicals. The grand opening sale at Miss M's Home and Garden now through Sunday. State Road 135, just south of Whiteland Road in Bargersville. Follow them on social media or visit Miss M's Home and Garden.com. That's Miss M's Home and Garden.com. Tell them JMV sent you. Do you find yourself stuck in a timeshare? Get the real facts about the timeshare industry and your options for cancellation. Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, has put together a free information guide that reveals the secrets the timeshare industry doesn't want you to know, including the five ways to get rid of your timeshare. Call now and get this timeshare information guide absolutely